Okay, good morning, everyone, then, ladies and gentlemen. We are on our way to pick up Mogwin's Spear. Mogwin's Spear? Mogwin's Spear? I think it's Mogwin. To then do our Blood Baron Bloody Rain build. Before we do this, I mean, currently I am level 93. And I do believe that level 93 should be enough to kill Mog. But I want to be on the safer side and I don't want to drag it out too much. So we'll probably just kill Rykard quickly. We'll double Rykard's Glyph. And after doubling Rykard's Glyph, we'll be able to... His remembrance. <coughs> We should be able to just blast Mogwin to, to Narnia. Meliodas, good to see you there. Fantastic username, by the way. Huge, huge fan of your show. And for that, we'll just quickly nuke Rykard. Rykard has another interesting weapon, right? I mean, Rykard's sword is also something I kind of want to have. Hmm. Probably not going to go for it. Kind of want it. First things first, though. Let's get let's get the scepter. Let's get the spear. And afterwards, let's get everything to boost blood to the max. I mean, we do already have the white mask. So now our equipment, we have the white mask. We have the Lord Exaltation. So these are the two blood loss thingies to raise attack power to make me stronger. But I think there's others that make casting abilities even stronger, especially arcing abilities. I'm just about to go to sleep and see the notification and see like this this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to sleep when there's so much stream to which, sir. Oh, did I pick it up already? Oh, I picked it up already because we we did some stupid things, didn't we? <laughs> didn't we didn't we do some stupid things here? I'm pretty sure I did. No, oh, God, this Gargoyle's Twin Blade. Do it. Wait, am I blind? It's supposedly here, right? Am I blind? Did I not pick up the stupid things already? Oh, no, there it is. Serpent Hunter. Yeah. My favorite part, when you summon your Mimic Tier. And the Mimic Tier has the Serpent Hunter, too. Let's go, boys. What happened to Diablo Immortal? Nothing. I mean, game is game is going crazy. I mean, for like probably Diablo's bis biggest success in many years. I feel like you shouldn't do this to me. You should probably focus on my mimics so I can do stupid things. Come on, mimic, do him dirty. Yes. You want to know what the best part is, Chad? For some reason, the Mimic seems to have near limitless mana. So, like, you, you notice how he's, how he's just, he's just added. It's just going away. He's completely obliterating it. I probably have to make it a bit louder, by the way. Tell me when the game is a bit too loud. Got a lot of strength build or arcane builds. Yeah, this is going to be an arcane build. Mostly arcane build. Uh, I've actually not experimented with a spear much. So it's going to be a first time for me today experimenting with a spear. Uh, and I really want to see what, what it has to offer. What, what I can't, what, what for fancy shenanigans you can do within. Uh, since the, if I'm not mistaken, the weapon art, which used to be very slow, should be nowadays a bit faster. And that's a very good thing. Because who does like very slow weapon arts? Oh, no, no, no. You shall not pass. You shall not pass again. Oh, oops. Range. Ow. I don't win this. I don't win this. Oh, I'm... Oh, I'm, I'm too heavy, chat. Made a mistake. I'm heavy rolling. Come on, my mimic. You can do this. Yeah. Do him dirty. Oh. <laughs> I'm a 
are they just, just going all out? Come on. Thank you very much. Mimic solos. Oh, Mimic could definitely solo this. Not the point. Okay, we got the Lord Remembrance. And we get another 1.3. Now let's go double the Remembrance. And I don't think there's anything I want from him. So we'll level up. We'll get a bit more dexterity. Boost the arcane further, but my arcane is already high enough. Uh, we're going to swap over to our twin blade. We're currently using. Now let's go to double the... Did I double the remembrance already? Let me check down here. Uh, with twin blade talisman and rot rotted sword insignia. Yeah, I haven't actually done the... Mm. I haven't done Rotted Sword Insignia yet. I haven't copied Remembrance here yet. You notice giant dog chat back there? I don't know if it's a dog. We haven't we haven't actually like decided if it's a dog or not. I have to decide on that. Do do death poker build, Meliodas. Uh, we do have a death poker build for you. We just recently, we just recently actually did one. Magic, magic slash death poker build. Very efficient. Uh, combines both elements together. So you're essentially a maximum mage build that uses magic. And then you add the, de the death poker on top of it with cream and cheese. Uh, it works plenty well together. Like one hand, one hand has the wand, other hand has the poker. Mm -hmm. This is going to be my collect everything account, by the way, for the oh, already done, perfect, for the DLC. Or just really she gets all of in. Evening Sork in. Miss also howdy. Ow. Okay, open these gates. And after opening these gates, you can double up on Rykard's Remembrance. Right? And then you can just use both. Just boost yourself a little bit. And the good thing is I came prepared, ladies and gentlemen. I literally have the, the Dynasty uh, Mausoleo midpoint. So we can straight up go for him. We can straight up get the weapon. Okay. Hmm. Let's see how this is going. I mean, technically, we have a very good weapon. We got the cracked physique for M Mog because there is. One item you need, you need like the flask to drink, right? But you want to mix it so that you don't get knee healed by him. DLC point shot. Let's watch the cutscene. It's one of my favorites. Dude is crazy. Thanks, Kevin. Very good, Calum. Thanks for asking. Also, fire. Yes, it's very fun to actually see people doing all the different builds. That's the arm of Michaela. Who's who's in an egg? Right? And for some reason, Mog, who's the blood baron, the blood lord, is inside Michaela. Correct? 
always the interesting part about this. You're like... So alone means he's either a psychopath or he's actually living in some mindscape together with her, him, it. Right? To the birthplace of our dynasty. I mean, like, he, he's either like a complete mad frog, right? Or he's living with her in, in a mind space, right? Which which is also an assumption to be made because, well, that that's frankly spoken. What else? Kind of. Right? What else is he doing there? So, well, what if he's like living with her in some some kind of mind space? Ow. I don't actually want to fight him fair, you know. I just want to fight him like like you know, with with all the unfairness that I have to offer. I should be able to actually... Uh, why didn't I take a single damage point? Well, oh, ow. He, he just sideswiped me. Uh, because we have the flash to not do that, right? Michaela and Marcus is half brother. Well, they're they're like this is extended family, right? <laughs> it's kind of like this extended family theme going on, but I'm, I'm, it's just more like confusing. What what is he doing with the egg? Why is Michaela an egg? You know, like all these things. Haha, <laughs> you thought you could get- oh, ow. <laughs> like, you thought you could get me? Yeah, you, you could get me, actually. <laughs> you, you could, you could, you could. Like, actually pretty good. See, like, that dude dude has, like, the range of a, of a freaking, like, like, I don't know. He, he can he can hit you from outer space, essentially, right? Yes, yes. Oh, that was a quick kill, actually. <laughs> that's a, that's a nasty quick kill. Where's that weapon? This is Ilianora's pull blade. Uh, we just recently made a video about the pull blade and how you can get it. It's super easy to achieve early, and well, it is. Yeah, it's it's quite it's quite it's quite op op. So now after doing this, guys, you would walk up to the hand and you would kiss the hand and then go to the DLC. That's most likely what's going to happen, right? Okay, now we're going to teleport back to... This? I am a fool, as you know. You beautiful. Okay. Oh. Do I want to buy his robes? Or not? Because you kind of have his robes already, correct? Uh, like with the with the like I, I don't know how how different they are to I don't know how different they are to these ones because you have like here this 
the Zangwin Noble robe, right? I, th I think the one from Moog look a bit cooler. Not been mistaken. Buy that one, and I need to buy that one. But re re receive power from Remembrance, and there's also the Blood Boon. I don't want. I literally want just the Scepter. Right? And now we get the Scepter. We need to upgrade it to maximum. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. It looks a bit cooler, not gonna lie. Now the best part is this character has all the somber smithing stone belts. So I have somber smithing stone belts from one to whatever. When we have a seven already, that's good. So I only need to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine, which is very, very clucking expensive. So if you just want to get a weapon to plus ten, that's that's a nuisance at, in extreme. To get a cool helmet, yeah, no, and I can tell you the reason. One, two. Three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. So the reason you're not getting a cool helmet is because this mask, uh, the Lord of Blood's Curse enlivens the wearer when bloodletting occurs. Slightly increases attack power when blood loss is happening nearby. Pretty, pretty good, right? I mean, who does not want to have slightly better attack power when bloodlust happens nearby? All the way up to plus 10. Darking at... I mean, currently we are have arcing at 36 somewhat someone. Uh, I need to reset my scalings, though, for this build. Uh, for that, we go to Renala. Because here you can actually reset all your stats. Very useful. Oh, is it thy way? I want to be reborn again. Uh, 40. 20. Uh, Dex needs to be at what? Something, something around 20. The strength needs to be up. I think, what, what, what was, what was stat requirements of that weapon before I go out again? X was 14. 14 is enough. Good. Uh, that means I can put more points in strength, more points in arcane. Good. Confirm. Don't forget, we have a bunch of arcane anyways, right? One, two, three, four, five. Mm, it's just, let's just like, you know, the standard, the standard test you do for, for weapon arts, you to go to Gatefront and you bully the poor guys. So what you have right now is this beauty chat. Okay, and what it does is... And you can actually do it multiple times in a row. So when you, when you have your mana up, right? You can essentially do... One... Two... Three... That essentially just kills everything. Sorkin, happy birthday. That's fantastic to hear. Hope you're doing great. Ow. And I mean, the weapon itself is also not, not bad. Has a good jumping attack. 
right? You, you get this, you get this down, downwards jumping thrust. You have very far reaching stabs. Then when you charge it up, you actually do that. And when you run, when you run, you do this, where the initial run already does damage. You know? That's actually really, really fun part of this weapon in general. Now, I'm not sure, like, uh, it does piercing damage, uh, but the ability is actually blood damage. So, we are, we're raining blood from this guy, right? So, currently, we have this one. This is boost the attack power of skilled, so it should make our skill more deadly. And then, blood loss in the vicinity increases attack power as well. That one should technically boost the spear too now i'm not sure what else kind of scales the spear so we'll be having to run some more experiments with that uh what i want to kill is i want to go here and no actually he could he could poop on me oh yeah we could we could just kill uh but that's something interesting to try out because when you go to teneth like she's eating her husband now correct Ah, my lord, Rykard. All right, like, like we almost killed him there with one one blood thingy, right, Chan? Wait, I, I, you need to actually kill me quickly because I didn't I didn't turn on the recording. We need to quickly get killed by him. I mean, as always, it's probably better to stagger an opponent and then just set it up, right? Instead of just doing it straight away. But where's the fun in that? Wait, does he not spawn straight away again when you when you die? No, he just spawns straight again, yeah. So... See, like we we have him, we have him almost dead with one single, one single shebang of our. Oh god, I hate, I hate Dragon Knight so much. Oh, you want you want to fight? Yeah, I don't want to fight. <laughs> you want to fight? Yeah, but I don't want to. I, do, I really don't want to fight. You know what is another particular nasty opponent to kill Chan? A very particular nasty opponent that is super, super doozy copter. Who, who, who knows in? Raise your arm. Where am I going? Drabby, thank you for the 21 centuries of support, Drabby. Very good to see you there, bro brother. Appreciation. So we're, we're not done, though. We need to find out more items to boost this further. Also, by the way, in t topic of the arcane scaling, if the weapon does have arcane as it's scaling, then hiring arcane also helps with the blood loss, right? Maxime, thank you for the second months. Welcome back. Happy you choose to support again. It's on your channel. Well, dead dude, Jacob. Howdy. Happy you found it. Good. So we're currently going into the secret, secret cave, the secret, you know, like entrance that is hidden down here because there is one boss and it's one of these rotten tree sentinel dudes, right? One of these rotten tree sentinels and they're, they're so stupid. They go around and then they loop around and like a like pain. But what if I tell you that that is of no consequence because, well, yeah. The weapon just goes boom. I think this might be one of these no-brainer weapons to take into the DLC because it just has such a powerful weapon art, right? So no matter how the new attack power kind of works, but this is also a very powerful weapon to use for the... 
to use for like ng plus and ng plus two three four five six seven eight because you can scale arcane up quite significant to essentially boost this weapon to oblivion when we should probably put on an armor because the problem right now is that we're wearing robes right Oh, great. He just went, went invisible and ignored the attack. Fantastic. You know, this is something I did not put into the equation when you're fighting a ghost and the ghost would decide that being invisible is the way to... Jesus, I hate this area. That, that going invisible is the way to go. I'm running it on NG plus three. I mean, for, for me, NG plus two was the easiest with the double slash sword. But that's mainly because Double Slash Sword does insane poise damage and follow that insane poise damage up with uh, like a very, very crazy amount of like quick attacks in a row. And then the bleed proc that continuously just simply procs, right? And you're good to go. This, by the way, used to be the best rune farm in the game, Chan, because you essentially just stood AFK and that's it. I hate you. That was the most random roll ever. And I wish I could claim like agency over having done like a super smarty pants max smart phase roll. Um, but I literally just accidentally stood perfect. Wait, did I just do a mistake? I'm correct here. Thank you. Let's see how much how much damage we can deal to this stupid thing. Oh, more interesting question. Let's see how much damage we can deal when we summon our mimic tier together with this thing. So if I go Mimic here. prefer mimic tier or teach it well it really comes down to the build i mean for this one i i really like um i really like the tier because it just works you know oh wait we didn't we didn't kill grail here holy other one one that one hundred thousand rooms just sitting there waiting for me Bleed is still broken. I wouldn't say bleed is broken. It, don't play it if you don't want it. I mean, I'm like simple as is, right? So, so it's often like if you want bleed, play bleed, and it's going to make things easier, right? If you don't want it, don't play it and make it for yourself harder. It's the same when people say Lice of P has broken throw bolts. Yes, the throw bolts are ginormous strong. Don't use them if you don't want it. I mean, like, no, no one put a gun to your in your mouth and said, like, do it, right? Do it. No, I'm gonna shoot you. No, like, you, you're able to, like, you, you know, you have a choice. So let's bully this dragon here. I kind of want to see how it works against dragons because you're you can essentially put yourself below their heads right away, and just have it rain down on them. The only thing I dislike probably is that it doesn't do poise damage, right? Just staggered him. 
No way! It does do poise damage. <laughs> and he's he's still going back there. <laughs> he's still going. He heal. He heal. I wasn't sure if it does poise damage, but if you use the broken physique, so what physique would help us now? That that's the that's the big question, correct? Hmm. Because we are currently let me let me show you. We're currently using in the mix wonders physique, we're using temporarily makes stance break stronger. But what other would be working good? I mean, temporarily boosts all damage negation. That is kind of making you unable to get hit. But is there one that hires bleed damage? Is there a mixed, mixed bleed physique? I never checked in. Mm. So let's, let's look at all the crystal tiers because there's all the crystal tiers listed here, right? So you got restores HP, boosts max HP, restores, restores, boosts stamina, boosts stamina recovery speed, strength, dex, in faith. I mean, technically we could boost dex, I guess, right? Damage negation, resistance, boost poise, magic, fire damage. I mean, we're not doing fire damage here, so that's useless. Lightning, holy um makes attacks more likely to break yeah that one we have and enhances charge attack charge attack doesn't count consecutive attack stronger uh briefly stops rune lift on that temporarily reduces equip load near converts damage hmm I mean, right now i i would probably say either dex yeah dexterity not but you could take like ignores damage. So so this one is currently the one where you are ignoring damage, which allows us to get our cast off. So if you take this mixed physique, you break stance, right? Because it does poise damage and you get like damage negation. Let's see, well, where's another boss that we could kill, Chan? Another boss we could kill. Something right now, simple. Oh, we could go for an Evergale. Mess around with a dual Magma Blade setup. I have not seen the Magma Blades yet. One of the weapons I haven't dabbled with. I mean, there's many weapons I haven't dabbled with, in all honesty. Quickly get him. Because now with the spear, right? I can drink the physique. So I wouldn't take any damage on my first cast. He comes out of it, right? I do this. I do that, but I don't have to... <laughs> I don't have to wait for him to essentially hit me back, right? I wish there I wish there was like some training dummy in Elden Ring. That would also be very helpful. What's the range of this? Okay, that doesn't hit. Yeah, it's not it's not like infinite. There is It has a good range, right? It has, like, you don't really need to stand right into someone. You you can stand a reasonable amount away. It's kind of nice. So we have we have a couple of... We had the Rotted Sword Insignia. That would do... Rotted Sword Insignia greatly raises attack power with successive attacks. My question is... I mean, technically, if I do this, and then that, and then this, 
That is successive attacks, right? So technically, shouldn't the rotted sword insignia raise that? I mean, the warrior charts boost the attack power of skills, right? The Lord's Blood Exultation gives me more attack power when I do blood loss. Which, I mean, like, the, the thing does blood loss. If I'm, if I'm, I think it does blood loss, right? Blood, erase the Sacred Spear, pierce Buddy Formless Mother, stab up three times, creating explosions of blood with each thrust. This scoat with, uh, with blood fame for a while, which is also really nice. Weapon art equals to attack. I think if you have more attack power, weapon art does more damage. I mean, we can test this very simple, honestly, uh, by put off the put off the mask and then that was 415. Now for 20 seconds, I do more more damage. 415. Okay, so that that's that's 415 without. Um, the thing. Can we do 415 to the sheeps too? 1,000. Okay. We do 1,000 to the sheeps. Uh, now if I would take the Vars and this, it should technically... That's 1,000. And now for, for 20 seconds, I do more bleed damage, so... We need more sheeps to experiment on. Sheep, I need you. Okay, that's 1,500. There you go. So that already did raise the power. See, 1,500. That's a fact. Already raising the attack power. Now, the question rather is, this is without the sword insignia. So we need somewhere blood damage in a row currently. Uh, where can we test that? Mm, giants. Actually, giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gi mm, giants? So, so it does more damage, correct? That, that was that was factual more damage. Uh, we, maybe Gatefront should work too. So now I don't have the insignia, right? So I don't do successive attacks. We we'll do one. That's five hundred. Then we do another. Like see see the red thingy around me. And we another that's 700 now and we do another that's still 700 that's 900 and that's 700 mostly okay so that was a lot in a row correct and now if i'm actually gonna take the now now, now if i take the ring sword insignia I should technically, on the third hit, do more damage. Because, again, consecutive attacks raises damage. And if I do consecutive attacks, it should raise the damage. Now, pull them all together here. Five hundred... 774 so that one doesn't seem to to do much for it so so that successive attack one doesn't seem to work because this weapon art is actually not attacking i mean the the actual attacks i do with it get stronger so that's important so when i'm actually attacking um that does more so we know the two blood loss the two blood loss items work straight away boom boom um, and the warrior shard works, so that is good. But the winged sword insignia doesn't work. What, what did Millicent's Prothesis do again? Millicent Prothesis? That was, uh, increases attack power with six. Yeah, that, that one doesn't do anything for us as well. Ooh, talisman. We need, we need a list of all talismans right now. Is there, is there a list, like, of all talismans? Uh, there is a spear talisman, but the problem is, so the spear talisman is... It raises the spear talisman, increases thrusting weapon counterattack damage by 15%. 
Um, spear is a thrusting weapon, so and if you're jump attacking, you're always counter attacking. So this one, the spear talisman, would essentially enhance your counter attack, like your 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 jump damage by 15%. And since the jump attack on this one is actually quite nice, right? Uh, it could work. Now the thing is that would uh, where is this one? Spear talisman is found in a lakeside crystal cave. Really? That one is so early. Isn't the Lakeside Crystal Cave the one? Wait. Oh, it's the one that's like, oh my goodness, this one is, this one, I, I figured out that, that this one actually exists and it took me so long because it, it's here, right? It's here, but but it took me like ages to to know that this cave exists. That, like it's it's one of these crazy things. You're like, what the fuck? This, this is here? This exists? Wait, let me, let me show you. It's crazy. It's beautiful. Um... Do any talismans boost arcane? There's a helmet that boosts arcane. Uh, there's a talisman that boosts arcane by five as well. But I feel like five arcane... It's not that useful. And it's also very late to gen. Kind of have to weigh like, like what's better. So there is a... The cave can be accessed when you jump down here on the side, I think. Was it here on the side? Oh, where was the entrance to this one? This, this, that was one of the like super tricky ones. Like, I'm, I'm still bamboozled to this day that it actually exists. God damn it, Elden Ring! You know, making making you still discover things after after playing for such a long time. Was it? Was it here? It was around here somewhere. From the lake, a cave line entrance. Are you sure it was from the lake? I don't remember 100%. I know it's, it's, it's like, you know, I know it's right below me. But I don't remember how you got in there. Not interested in air fire at all. Like BG3, I mean, BG3 is more like there's just so, so much to discover, right? So much hidden, like every room, every, every piece of item. Ah, there you go. There you go. Yep. God damn it, Chan. Thank you very much. Um... It's one of these dark caves that's intentionally dark. Really annoying. Mm, do I have a... I don't have a torch. In order to do the cave, you actually had to go down. Stupid, right? When you, you could be you could be searching for ages in this cave. And not find where you have to go. Because you actually have to go freaking down. Chan. Absolute clucking robbery, right? Would it be easier to bring a torch? Yes, it would be easier to bring a torch. Uh, uh, there you go. Ta-da! And yes, here's another Bloodhound Nine. But luckily, we brought the cavalry! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Total overkill. <laughs> And here's that wolf dude. Wait, but where was the spear talisman? Oh no, did I miss the chest words in? I think I missed the chest words in, Chan. 
Can you do a blood incantation on the spear as well? No, the, you cannot, um, you cannot incantation, um... You cannot incantation weapons that are special weapons. So everything that needs somber smithing stones to get upgraded, like the rivers of blood and all that kind of stuff, they they cannot they cannot be incantationed. Only normal smithing stone weapons can be incantationed. Okay, uh, that that bud you can use something called um, flames. Flames grant me strength. Should actually work, right? Flame Grammar Strength is incantation. The spell raises physical and fire affinity attack power. And blood counts as physical damage? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if Flames Ground Me Strength actually scales this. I mean, right now there should have been the spear talisman in there but it's it's somewhere i mean we can quickly pick it up because there is just the fort is just right next to this I hate the way you say incantation I, i'm not sure how to say it correctly don't don't blame the non-native speaker for messing up things that makes you that makes you a meanie don't be a meanie Oh, we could kill that stupid dragon. Yeah, I'm going to go kill that dragon in a second because I just literally hate that dragon. That particular dragon just particularly is hated by me. Just generally trying to find out what all items I really want for an endgame build, right? What kind of spells do you want to bring with you? Yes, they said attack power is going to work different with a DLC. That does simply not mean you cannot prepare yourself, correct? Especially if you want to take this one as far as you can DLC-wise. Yes, if you're using a if you're using a spear on the back of a horse, right? And then you're holding your R. Look at that. We are charging, and it actually does do charging damage into people. If I now go for this. Right? You can just, just charge into things. Which is very cute and useful. That's flames grant me strength. I don't think I do actually have a... What? I mean, what? There was, there, was a, there was a minimal jump. Where did that kill me? Wait, seriously? When? It's like one of these war zone moments where it says you're not going to break your legs in 13 meters in. And you jump down from a bridge and it's like 13.5 meters and you break your legs. And you just ask yourself, why why me? Oh, I need to get back to actually picking my runes. Do, 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 do. Right now, I'm just collecting some very good items, and we're gonna also get the the good incantation um, or good casting focus. I think there's one that makes flames flames ground me strength a bit longer, and even if flames ground me strength actually doesn't work with this, I want to have the spell. I feel like flame flames ground me strength is one of these spells you just you just want, correct? Why did I just dehorse? I think I got too close to the sun. I still feel like this should have not killed me. Ok. 
in any capacity. Feel absolutely robbed. And what we're going to do is... Oh, there's a somber smithing stone four there. Huh. That's cute. You kind of fighting me, huh? Ow. Bro. Rude. I wasn't aware that there's a somber four there. Huh. I could incorporate that in my routes because like this is literally just a little step and then you go for Dragon Burrow. Because usually I pick up four in the Celia tunnels itself, but this one is just on the way. Wow. Imagine finding out new things. Okay, we want the um here the old lord's talisman. Where do you get that one from? Found in a chest in Crumbling Ferrum Azula. A chest is in the rotunda on the east edge of the Dragon's Temple rooftop area. Eh? Eh? Where are you? Dragon's Temple rooftop and it's where? Besides? Height of Grace? Oh, oh, that's where it is. Ah, there's the, mm. wait, can I not, can I not go from here? No, I don't think I can go from here. I need to go from the side of grace besides the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to go where the, where you get invaded. Oh, this is great. This is great. You know why? Because there's a room full of beast men and that room full of beast men is so annoying to do at times. But how could a room of beastmen be annoying when you have the boomstick of solution? So what would you say is the earliest currently you can kill Moog? I'd say level 80 probably. I'm, I'm just considering like what the recommendation to get the weapon. I guess 80 is kind of like the earliest to get this. Before 80, I just don't see it. I thought I would die. Really? Cerulean hidden tier is useful for FP spam. Good good point. Pumas. I don't think that it's needed for this build because you can essentially just do Anyone that has ever been in this room knows how horrendously annoying this one is. And yes, Night Burnal is also very annoying. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drink this. Because this now negates one instance of damage. So if I do this and he hits me. Oh god, I was about to do my third one. No. I hate him. It does poise damage, but it like doesn't doesn't stagger like right away. So versus versus NPCs, there's definitely a better weapon, and that weapon is called that weapon is called versus NPCs the Winged Scythe. I can't use it right now because it's a faith based weapon, and we went over to Arcane essentially. I know, Chan. Probably happy Ramadan. Um, is it today month. Wait, is it the month? Is it the day? I don't know. I'm an uncultured swine that I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I wrote, thank you for the 74 centuries realist with a 32 as well. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Thank you for supporting and subscribing. Chat, if you brought your Prime Gaming subscription, do not forget to use it. Memberships on the YouTube if you feel like it. Whatever you want to do, just hang out. It's all appreciated. 
Wait, do the beast men get a respawn when you die? Oh, they do. Luckily, I don't give a damn. Okay, li listen, sir. I just, I just literally wanted to pick up the item, and I don't, I don't want the beef. Okay, I, I don't, I don't want the beef, sir. I just want the item. Oh, let's let's get rid of the rope, by the way. The rope makes you so squishy. Uh, we're gonna use. I mean, usually I I like to use my. Oh, they're all too heavy. Interesting. Wouldn't have assumed them to be too heavy. I feel like I look plenty cool with this right now, chat. What do you think? I, I, I was going for like this silver and gold look together because you have to wear the white mask, correct? I mean, the white mask is a must, sadly. Uh, and then you add like the whole silver touch to it because the weapon is like this cool silver and gold. Actually looks pretty, pretty fancy. I'm not gonna lie. Some beefy legs. Yeah, the legs are from the Beast Champion Greaves. I mean, we could go for golden ones that are less, less wheel, less heavy. Uh, I think we also have the Twin Greaves, which is a bit less heavy. So I could potentially pick up... Um, Go for that and the twin gauntlets. I'm pretty sure I could go for yeah, we can we can do a different armor. You do the beast champion armor. So now now we're we're the silver we're the silver surfer. Okay, listen, uncool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Traff, thank you for the three years as well. Traff, welcome back, brother. Thanks for using your prime support. Okay, you gotta explain me why you can roll this. Stupid. Stupid. This is, by the way, why I'm saying you don't really need any kind of other shebang. So what do we have? We have now the incantation. Let's teleport somewhere. Uh, let's teleport to our testing ground. Testing ground, great front. You slide down ladders, yes. You hold the sprint key and then you slide down ladders. Okay, now for the next test, we need the... Wait. Did I not just pick it up or am I stupid? I thought I picked it up. Did I not pick up the old Lord's Talisman? It's, it's, it's in that box. It's not in that box? Wait, was it somewhere else in another box? Wait, what? what? It's in there, right? I just picked it up. Oh, um, that's the old Lord's Talisman. <sighs> yes, that's the old Lord's Talisman. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's everything is right. Everything is right. It's this one that I wanted to have to uh, enhance the effects of it. It's correct. Uh, but we want to use Memorize Spell. We want to use Flame Grant Me Strength. But for Flame Grant Me Strength, we need 15 Faith. And right now, our Faith is at 8. I'm just not sure if the flame grounds me strength actually buffs. I mean, you, usually, like, you can you can figure out a lot of these buff things here for... This is Mogwin's Spear. Because a lot of things have done the testing for you before. And uh, a lot of the testing usually tells you what works. So, uh, the Blood Boom Ritual can hit targets from behind walls objects and buffs the weapon with an effect similar to Blood Flame Blade, right? The buff adds a flat 30-hour fire damage to the weapon, regardless of weapon or stat level. The buff lasts 20 seconds, which includes the cast of the ability. Mm. Yeah, despite consisting of multiple hits, the weapon art is not affected by multi-hit talismans such as Militant Prothesis. However, the damage is still increased if you have already generated the buff prior to using the weapon art. 
Ah, so the weapon art itself does not work with prothesis, but if we hit, it works. The damage scaling favors arcane over strength, so you actually want a maximum arcane with a weapon instead of strength. So the strength is 24 and then we boost arcane. This is because both physical and fire damage both scale with arcane. So here, at 34 strength, 14 dex and 60 arcane, Mokken Spear has 707 AR and 90 blood loss build up. But at 34 strength, 19 dexterity and 55 arcane, Mokken Spear is less. Mm-hmm. But it does physical and fire damage, so blood counts as physical and fire. That means flames, ground me, strength should work. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go back to Renala. Uh, we're going to reskill to get 15 faith, so we can use this, right? La, 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 la. Which level should you be before the DLC? Everything around 120, and the reason you want to be 120 is simply that with 120, you can have the stat spread for mind, endurance, vigor, Strength, arcane, whatever you need. I mean, right now you can see that I am level 104 and I'm missing 16 levels, technically, to um to be like very good around things. I mean, you kind of want to max out your vigor. You're gonna have endurance at least 20. Uh, then we want strength to be 24. 24 is needed for the spear, correct? Yeah. Uh, Dex is 14. Doesn't go lower than arcane as high as possible. Right? So Arcane can go up to 15. But we need our Faith to be 15. So that is important. Yeah. 60 is kind of the cap or the soft cap for things. So you, you kind of like don't want to go over that. And now let's test Flames Grant Me Strength. I need to buy myself a Hobo. Hobo Talisman. I'm not sure if there is a certain talisman that's better for flames grant me strength strength um stacks multiplicative with the golden vow yeah i know that damage increases also affects physical related spells such as rock sling meteorine mm. what i wanted to know is if this actually works with um like which which is the best incantation casting thing you want right Raving, thank you for the 72 months of support. Good to see you there. Raving being very appreciated. So if I purchase now the finger seal. But I, I like there's there's better seals out there. I'm just not sure which seal is the best to have. So we take the finger seal. We equip that one as well. And now let's teleport back to the gate front testing grounds. We were doing somewhere around, what was it, 774 on our first attempts. And now with the Old Lord's Talisman and the 30% buff duration increase, we are getting this for 39 seconds. So what I can do is Flames Ground Me Strength. And now for 39 seconds, I am... I'm doing more than ever before. That's 923, but I think I've done 923 before as well. One time already. It's kind of harsh to... Like, I need something that's, like, very sturdy. Where you can essentially test the damage ramping on. Um, and I've never found, like, the actual opponent where this is good for. Like, does, does someone have a recommendation? So that's 700. That's 767. That's 985. That was a thousand from from that Wayne. Buff is still running. Buff is still running. So 958 is the highest I've done there. Okay. That would be with Flames Ground Me Strength Incantation. Okay, with the Incantation, uh, that would be the strongest we've gotten there.
Yeah, you know, we should probably go to Mox Palace and just test it there. That's a that's a good play. It's a good good thought actually. Yeah, but here the highest I've seen is 798 now. So it seems like that flames grant me strength actually makes me stronger. Correct, chat? You want the dragon convenience seal? See, I don't know. Like, like, which seal do I want now? Uh, which seal is the best for flames grant me strength? The dragon communion seal does what? Uh, it's the summer smithing stone. Buffs dragon communion incantations by 15%, but I don't use them. It scales off arcane. Ah. That makes sense then. This seal scaling with arcane also means it increases the blood loss, poison, madness buildup of incantations cast. Okay. When I could use it. And I could add dragon incantations. Okay, it's in the fringe fold hero grave. Oh, the French Fold Hero Grave. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, now I get where it is. Does this build work on Retagon and Elden Beast? I haven't tried it <coughs> yet. But it should. Oh, I don't have Stone Sword keys. Do the old crones sell stone sword keys? They do, right? Yeah, flames ground me strength as a percentage. It shouldn't be buffed by seals. That that is correct. Flames ground me strength is a is a fixed um is a fixed buff, as you say. Uh, so this one shouldn't go up with scaling. But it stacks multiplicative with golden vow. So what you could do is, and this is like, this is a little bit overdoing it. So you could take golden vow. Golden vow is from Scorps, Corpse, Stench, Shack, and Mount Gelmir. Jesus, where was that one? Oh, it's that one. Really? That was where the incantation is? Damn, I haven't been there in ever. Has anyone of you actually been to Mount Gelmir? Uh, normal. In a while. Like, I, I don't even know how to get there anymore. Uh, I know the back street. Like, like, how do you get here again? Do you, do you ride all the way? I, I, I haven't been there. Are you going to play Dragon's Dogma 2? I will probably play Dragon's Dogma 2 because I see a lot of guide potential for the game. It also fits for people that actually like something like Elden Ring. So I think they're going to be enjoying that kind of game too. So yes, I do believe that Dragon's Dogma generally fits the way how I'm attempting to play my games. And I do believe there is a, a lot of potential, potential awesomeness. Yeah, Academy or Invitation from the Serpent Girl. I mean, I like no one, no one actually walks to Mount Gelmir. Like the whole Mount Gelmir region in 99% of the times gets ignored by me. I know I have been there in the very beginning of like when I when I started playing the game, right? But but apart from apart from that, then out, I, I have not been anymore. Because if you if you then use flames ground me strength and this one together that like oh, by the way this is perfect here. Uh, farming. Probably should introduce this as a rune farm weapon as well, right? Because you could you could farm Mogwin's palace with this very easy by just pulling things together and just hurting things. 
It's like it's like a very nice just area I destroy everything kind of weapon. You're gonna wait for Dragon's Dogma. I mean I'll definitely I'll definitely see that I try that I play it to give you proper feedback. Like even if I play Dragon's Dogma only one single day, just to essentially give you feedback on the game, then then that that is what's going to happen, right? Oh, I have not been here in 15 playthroughs. I, I think this region, I've only been in my first two playthroughs, and that's about it. I don't know the whole Mount Gelmir region. You don't actually have to go, right? Even though it is, like, one really beautiful region. Like, I, I, I just love, like, the actual, like, art, right, of this area. And you just know that Rykard has been sending out his machines to damage everyone so he can plunder their corpses, right? Okay, don't you don't you fuck with me. I got I got a big bad boomstick. Wait, Anastasia Tarnished Eater comes from here? Wait, since when? Yeah, Anastasia Tarnished Eater, eat this. Tarnished. Okay, this is Flame Golden Vow. So what happens right now is... Let's, let's teleport for this now to the... What you can do right now. And it's, it's a little bit... Uh, right? Because, like, why why make it so complicated? Oh, uh, let's see. Memorize spells. Oh, no. Golden Vow needs even more. 25 faith? What? Okay, screw that. I'm not going to level up 25 faith. But again, this is why we're saying 120 character. So I would need 10 more levels of faith or 5 more levels of faith. And then they would be working multiplicative with each other. Okay, so that 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 ain't happening. We're we're not we're not gonna do we're not gonna do any any like crazy shit with that. You can get a sword with it on, yeah, but swapping weapons to do that. I'm 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 already loath to recommend people to use flames ground me strength, because that would recommend like that would require you to essentially use flames flames ground me strength every single time, right? really a recommendation you want to give people beautiful destruction and please rank the soulsborn game no it's pretty personal how you how you feel about these so yeah i, I think like like 120 to 150 is probably a good level uh 120 so why do i keep insisting on 120 because it's the level you can achieve extremely easy uh, without without trying 120 is usually the level that you are at the end of the game or usually the level where you kill melania with um uh, yeah melania okay so flames grant me strength is an option chan as an incantation to get stronger what what else what else could we take i'm i'm taking recommendations on on uh what, what we could what we could do with this Mm, you could take the wait you could take the ritual sword talisman that one would be this raises the attack power when you're at max hp i don't like this one because you essentially only get it on the first cast right it's it's not bad but i always feel like I mean, in order to really activate this, you you just just like yeah, only on your first hit, right? But it's a little bit of a no-brainer because you essentially just get more attack. 
What's your favorite Souls like game? Uh, Lights of P, to be honest. That Lights of P right now has a very fun spot in my heart because they have done everything right. They have gotten the whole story down, the gameplay. Some people don't like it, but it's really good. Millicent Prophecies or Rotted Wing? Well, so Millicent's Prophecies and Rotted Wing do not work. Okay, why do they not work? Uh, they only work when you activate them before. So that means if you want to use Prophecies, if you want to use Rotted Wing, you have to hit one, two, three, four times, and then they work. Until then, they do not work. Okay, it's a, it's a bit weird. But this, that's essentially what goes on. Okay, buff me. Flames ground me strength. Two hand the weapon. And then... Ooh. Hi. And now with this, you're going to get the, um, um like from, from behind in. So you get the ritual sword talisman. Now, now we can check if we do actually more damage. So the ritual sword talisman raises attack power when HP are at maximum and more attack power is bigger boom, right? The, the problem again with this is. that if I walk in here now to use it, right? Like this is essentially one, two, and now it's already not working anymore, right? And then, and then if I want to have it work again, I would have to, right? Max the flask for DLC. You should definitely do that. There's no no question about it. So so that that talisman would work to higher our damage. Uh, there is something called the technically fire scorpion. I mean, fire scorpion charm does following. Uh, fire scorpion charm is a talisman. Elder ring. Fire scorpion fire damage by twelve percent, and you take more damage. Question, is that working multiplicative with the other stuff? Found up the ramparts on a wooden platform for the west in Fort Late within Mount Galmir. Wait a second. Really? That's where it is? I've literally never been. I've I've never been to that fort. So it's it's like the most useless location. Because no one ever goes there. Right, ladies and gentlemen? When you, you want to know what one of the very fun parts is of this weapon art chat? It works through walls. So if you're fighting someone and you have like a pillar or something behind you, right? Um... You, you, you can just put yourself on the other side of the pillar, right? And just use it through the pillar. So it's kind of kind of funny in my eyes. Isn't there like the one-eyed weird frenzy fire giant? Aren't, isn't this like one of these frenzied fire giants? I think it is, Ryan. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, how are you feeling about these kind of streams where we're trying to really max out a, a build? We're trying to find some nasty things to combine together and see what works and doesn't work. A little bit of science and everything. 
So I think it's this Ford. And it is, if I'm not mistaken, in this Ford, right? So we got it in this Ford, and it's supposed to be... Here, found up the ramparts on a wooden platform. Is it this one? No, it's not this one, right? No, 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 Wayne. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's not this one. No, 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 no. Wrong one. I'm an idiot. Wrong one. Mm-mm-mm-mm. mm 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 Absolute doofus. That is the one where you get the weapon. Mirai's Executioner's Sword, which is a very good arcane weapon as well. What we're having is we go up here to the Tibia Marina and we just murder it because we can. Yes, we're even too lazy to activate Flames Grant Me Strength right now, right? the third cast if you get the third cast off it truly does the most damage that's where where it goes like ooh, 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 and just yeah it's chunks right i'm just not sure how much you want to lean like into the whole blood stick i mean right now we want to essentially maximize the damage of the weapon art because I'm not using this weapon to fight, right? I mean, imagine using weapons to fight, Chan. I am using this weapon merely to to abuse the weapon art. I mean, it would be great to get the Shard of Alexander. But I think when you killed Alexander... Wait a second. No, 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 no. Can I respawn Alexander? Hold on. The Turtle Pope forgiveth. And the Turtle Pope respawn. Can you not respawn it with a Turtle Pope? Does, it, does he not give me Alexander back? I've never tried. I know that the Turtle Pope respawns, but I, I guess not Alexander. Hmm. Sad. So in this playthrough, I can't be getting the Warrior Shard anymore. It is a great weapon, but I wouldn't say it's the best bleed weapon because you can't move while using the skill. I, I fully agree with you, um, Billy. The advantage of this weapon over other bleed weapons is that you actually don't have to attack. So as you say, like, it might not be the best weapon because you can't move. But on the other hand, what you can do is you can, well, you can use it while you're, you're standing, like, next to someone. You're not too far away. A bit boring for you. Well, that's where it goes with a lot of the very good weapons. Like, once you've found something that works, is essentially just spamming the weapon art. I do like this weapon especially a lot because it's just stupid fun to use, right? And I'm not playing this because I, I want to have some sophisticated fighting. The weapon here is being used because I want to bully my opponents, right? Right now against this boss here, I'm like, I don't I don't want to fight him. I want to do this. And miss him completely. And you know, and just bully him with my weapon art. That's what I want to do. I'm not I'm not here to fight. Oh yeah, his his booty counts as the receiver for the blood, I think. Right? But what actually counts as the receiver for the blood? It's it's weird because we don't seem to be hitting him with the weapon art at all.
Like where 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 do we even need to hit him with a weapon art currently? This was weird. This was, this was this was a absolute weird fight in terms of where we do need to hit him. Like this this makes no sense to me currently. Okay, so this should be the the scorpion talisman should be here for fire damage. Uh, in order to get in this, it was either right or left side. I've been like in this in this thingy like two or three times only. I I have oh yeah him, I remember he is here. I'm here too, though. I got the Inferno Crozier straight away. The Inferno Crozier is very good. Ah. Uh. Yeah, over. First time I went here, the dude gave me, like, a really hard fight. That's, that's another reason to essentially... Wait, isn't he... I wasn't I know I know he's he's like in the boxes in that box where was he in these boxes no from the wall which one would, would this wall Oh, this one, yeah. Ah, oh, Fire Scorpion Charm. Thank you very much. Okay, now with the Fire Scorpion Charm. Uh, let's return to mid Midway Point. Okay, we're going to put the Ritual Sword Talisman off. We're going to use the Winged Scorpion Charm, which is 12% more fire damage, right? Now, we're not going to buff us with Flame Scrummy Strength, so we're just going to go in. And there's like, what, 1,500, 2,000, 2,200, something in this direction, so quite some damage, correct? Those are the Fire Scorpion Charm. And if we now go back to the virtual sword talisman, which only works with full HP again, so so kind of like, and this fire scorpion charm is twelve. This is ten percent. Oh no! But I see, like that's lesser. That's lesser. I mean, we anyways took more damage, so the fire scorpion charm is working. It gave us another hundred damage plus. Right? Let's try again with full HP. So we can just see with full HP. But you notice how the Fire Scorpion Charm is already more useful. Yeah, see now now we, we saw 2,000. But the Fire Scorpion Charm still did more. Right? We we still haven't figured out why this is happening. By the way, Chad, my 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 game lags, L like very weirdly like this, and we we don't we don't know why. This is a lot of this is a lot of runes though for just doing that. How much how much do we like get per per like walking up here? I mean, this is no crazy rune farm, but for teleporting, walking up. And then just doing this, right? That's ten. That's ten thousand, right? And then you essentially teleport back and do it again. <laughs> the 
very front of the level has the best spot. Yeah, I know, like this one, uh, because you can, I think you can ride in the middle of everyone, correct? And would you, would you just jump in the middle here and then... And then do that. The weapon is actually really good for this. That was 20,000 runes. Wow. What if I now take a foul foot that gives me like 30% more runes, correct? That's quite nice. But I mean, if I wanted to just like farm myself up right now without like any weird bugs, right? Um, it's, it's quite nice, right? Use the sacred relic sword on the top. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't have that. Yeah, scarab and foul food. Like we, we can actually get the scarab quickly. Um, the scarab is. Wait, 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 wait. I need to go here. I have not been here in such a long time. And a lot of people they do like their rune farm, so seems silly to not include this in the guide if you wanted to, right? Weezy, this is the OG right now, and we're pre preparing a build for for Shadow of the Earth Tree, essentially. This is one of these stupid secrets again, right, Chad? Because the cave is here. That's the cave. Did you know about this? Not only is the cave here, it's a very stupid cave. Since... Let me level up. Nasty, howdy. This is one of these caves where um, you get poisoned. Bit annoying. I think you need to wait. You need to jump up on this. Nah, you you get like further poison. You get scarlet rotted here. And there, you, usually you can find your way through this relatively fast, right? Um, it is easiest if you, like, if you go backwards and just if you do, if you go backwards and just dodge through, that's usually what you can do, right? Uh, you can also just try to speed run the whole stupid thing, right? Just literally forgot, like, I, I, I haven't been in this cave in forever, so I forgot the route. It's more or less just a uh, strayed. And even more strayed. And you get the flower. You need to go right side up. Uh, more straight. And here's another of these very annoying knights with the Scholar Rod. What's up, bro? Ah, I forget you're here too. Yeah. So, so that's the hard part about this because there's two. Um, and then you get the golden scarab, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Golden scarab. Everyone go like, what? 
so yeah, and that Golden Scarab now would give you 30% more runes when you do any kind of rune farm. So if we now equip this instead of the Talisman, and then you just teleport back to the palace where we just were, right? And we get, we get around like 20,000, right? Now you just walk in here. It's like, oh, what's the weapon called? This is from Mog. It's Mog's Spear. And you get even more more runes, right? right? So it's like instead of 2,000 or 2.2, .2, it's like 2.5. This is so, so beautiful. And then with a foot together, it's even more. But not the point. So we got we got the flame, we got the Lord's Blood Exaltation. I think I'll stick with that. We got the Warrior Shard currently. We have the Viridian Ember Medallion. That one I can actually put away. So we could currently play Ritual Sword Talisman and we could play um we could play Fire Scorpion Charm. That gives us even more damage than ever before. The problem as always is that this only works if we're If we're full HP. It's definitely more damage now, so that's for that's for Stizzle. I do have a video for the build for the beginning of the game. So this build is not a beginning of the game build. This is an end game build because you need to kill Mock for this. Uh, we have a video for you how to start with a Blood Build Reborn. We just put one out. And then you would essentially transition into this. Because this is not something you do early. You need to be at least around level 80 to probably kill Mog, I'd say. I don't think you can kill him much earlier. So, so that is definitely something where I'm saying, like, yeah... I'm not I'm not done yet. There is there's definitely like there's more ways to to build this. Like I'm I, I feel like I'm missing something. So we could add golden vow to this. Hmm. We currently have like we we I'm I'm trying to think about what was like the easiest to get together, right? Is there a spell you could use beforehand? Like a spell that lingers? Yeah, would like we is there a spell that kind of like a fire spell that lingers? That you could get? Because right now we we do this, but like if there is something we could cast before, right? So so we have something that's like cooking that's cooking beforehand. That'd be useful. Oh look, they thought they could kill me, but they can't. It's actually a very cute rune farm. It's really like an absolute no bother. Like look, like, like we're we're just. We're just you, you could you could just in in one hour right you could you could just not, not even one hour in like like 20 minutes you, you could get just so few here as uh, so, so so many runes here this is, this is like illegal actually i really don't engage much in rune farms because i always find them like unnecessary right because because if you can't if you can't beat the game without a rune farm then then why even bother with a rune farm you know Howl of Shibiri. Isn't Howl of Shibiri frenzy sorcery? Howl of Shibiri. An incantation. Howl of Shibiri. What does it do? Frenzied flame. Causes severe madness buildup in enemies and area of effect around the casters. Well, now nah, that wouldn't work because you, you actually have to do the Howl of Shibiri, right? Like if we... We want something that we could cast and that would linger in the area, for example. 
Radagons? What does Radagons do again? Radagons uh, shortens the casting time of spells and uh, incantations. Yeah, that, that doesn't work because it doesn't work for our weapon art. So Radagons doesn't buff the weapon art, essentially. Okay? The thing. The stuff is like... So the, the, the best strength we would get is Golden Vow. Because Golden Vow multiplies what what um what we do there so so that's that you know mm -hmm. yeah, we're too quick to sit and farm long or you don't even have to farm long but yeah I'm totally with you I don't I don't like farming as well. Your Shard of Alexander would be the one thing I kind of want, right? Hmm. Uh, can we can we really not respawn Alexander when you when you go to the Turtle Pope? You can go to the statue, right? And I don't even know what item you needed again. I mean, we, we can wait. Sorry, sorry, mate, but but I, like like really not cool, bro. You don't need a. You don't need absolution. Oh no! Oh no! I don't need absolution because. Oh no, he's dead. In new game plus, it's uh, important. Well, I I got to new game plus two without ever having to rune farm. But that's why you why you invest in bully builds, right? I guess the one thing you could take is the magic talisman still. Okay, so how much how much does the how much does the um like magic tier talisman cost? Um uh, uh correct physique. I don't I don't remember the I need I need the one that was the magic shrouding crystal tier. I need the fire tier. Fire tier. Flame, flame crack tier was dropped by Putrid Avatar. The flame makes flex to enhance its effect. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. yeah, stacks with fire scorpion charm, right? So this this stacks with fire scorpion charm. And if I get Putrid Avatar, Minor Urtree, and Kaelid, east of the smoldering church. Oh, it's you. It's you. This one. Uh, easiest way there is probably just riding from some water. I don't get why people hate rune farm. No, am I like, like I don't hate rune farm, Kellner. It's just literally like like you don't need it. It's absolutely unnecessary. Well, so so this is why I'm saying it's absolutely unnecessary. But I'm saying that from a position of someone who's who, who beats these games without like without trying to to get the strongest way possible before fighting bosses. Right? I enjoy the struggle, but this is like the this is like the stupid mindset. Because a lot of people need it. So for me as the content creator or for me as the Elden Ring lover or General Souls-like lover, I don't rune farm. Um, but everyone is different, right? Everyone needs different things. Some people really need a rune farm. Some people need it to win a game. Um, and that is okay. There's like no shame in that because that's the beauty of Elden Ring. If a rune farm allows you to essentially be stronger, if a rune farm allows you to beat a game easier. Well, isn't that isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I want it. <laughs> so is, isn't that wonderful? And that's where no one no one should ever tell you that you're bad for for attempting to rune farm or anything. Right? I was playing online PvP once and there appeared a player called Gift from God and he dropped 99 every golden rune and left. You get blessed by thy heavens. 
It's Susie. Good to see you there. How are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, how many casts do you think we'll need for this? Let's dodge first attack. I'm oh, reasonable. I guess. <laughs> reasonable, Susie. Thank you for the 14 months of support, Susie. Welcome to the Knights of the Round Stable, Susie. Great to see you there. Great to have you with us. Howdy and welcome. Also, GG and greetings to everyone that's enjoying this over on the YouTube as well. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, let's let's see now. Wait, I need to change my mixed physique quickly. Oh, you know, we, we, yeah, you know what we're going to do, chat? We're going to kill someone I absolutely hate. I loathe. So we're going to take now fire damage and fire damage. Okay. So that is, that is like our maximum strength level, I guess, that we can achieve. And we're going to kill someone I, I just, I just genuinely hate. I just hate that person because he's like Commander Nile. You know, Commander Nile, that dude? Yeah. Uh, stupid boss. We're going to get invaded now. Come on, Millicent. Bring it on. <laughs> Who brings a sword to a blood fight? Innocent. So we can bully him. tempted to to use golden vow but i'm unwilling to go for 15 faith to make golden vow work there's a chest piece that gives me bonus faith it's called the commoner's garb right the commoner's garb gives you 15 faith but Unwilling to kind of work on that right now. Mm. I'm the commoner's garb. Yeah, could golden golden vow ash of war and a dagger. We're probably gonna do that. Where is where is golden vow ash of war? Golden vow ash of war. Where do you find that? Limgrave dropped by Mounted Knight Goddard in the cliff southwards above the Death Touch Catacombs when defeated. Uh, what? Oh, oh, that one. Ugh. Yep. Mm, right here. Getting old on my days, Chan. Because Golden Vow and Flames grant me strength work multiplicative with each other. The problem is they only last a couple of seconds, so... It's like really for the ultimate damage setup, the amount of things you kind of have to mix together just to make it work seems silly at times. Right, you have to do flames ground me strength, then you have to swap your weapons, then you have to drink your cracked physique, right? Um, so so that that's now the maximum amount of fire damage that I can have bonus. And then you're gonna go boop and destroy someone with a one hand. Oh, 
Wait, isn't it supposed to be one of the knights here that has it? Or did I misunderstand that? Ah, no, he's on top. Ugh. Ugh, I'm stupid. He's not down here. Yeah, it's a knight on a horse, but I don't think he's actually here. He's, uh... He's here. I think he's all the way on top, or he's like... Because the death death touched catacombs, they are Okay, so I'm busy here doing something, you stupid. Stop bothering me. The death touched catacombs are right. Here? Where is he? Is he down there? Mo the moment you're you're like forgetty spaghetti. Is he east? I know he's somewhere here. Here, like I'm I'm not completely crazy. He's supposed to be on top of the death touch catacombs. Yeah, there. Oh, I'm. It's here. I was almost in the right place. I need to go down where I don't die. Fine. It's the, literally the one golden vow knight that's riding around here. There. That's him. No, wait, he's not ready. War Master's tag, War Master's tag. No, he's further down, right? Did I, did I just teleport to the War Master's shack and then just instantly kind of miss him? I did, right? Here. There. That's him. Oh, goodness. I feel so stupid. Here. Where I marked him earlier. <laughs> and he drops the Golden Vow Ash of Warp. What we do right now is... And yes, this is a bit like stupid because of the setup time and everything but you would get yourself a weapon that you can wield right uh ash of war so it would take like the wishy katana for example and you give it a golden vow make it sacred if you want to and then we're gonna go to agil I mean, usually you use a dagger because daggers don't weigh anything, but pony's stupid. That's why you use the Ushigatana. And then you equip a second weapon. I'm heavy loaded now. 
I'm an idiot. And that's what I meant with being stupid, Chad. Oh, jellyfish shield for extra juice. What did the jellyfish shield do again? Remind me. I think you could use it too to buff, but I found that... Like, I'm, I'm already finding this, like, too, too convoluted to set up. You know? Like, it, like, it's about... I don't... I want to set something up, but that setup shouldn't take me longer than the actual fight. You know? Yes. Stupid crabs. Or whatever you are. Right? Like, you you have to imagine that in order to reach, like, your actual superpower level, you you would be... You'd be holding to do this before every fight and did, like, is that what you want to do? I mean, this is right now already a lot asking for, so you have to, you have to essentially, so what, what do you get to do right now, chat, right? You get to cast Flame Scrammy Strength. Then you have to swap the weapon and use the weapon art. Then drink your physique. Swap over to your spear, and now now I'm maximum buffed. So this is now Flame Scrammy Strength together with... I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. Um, like I, I, like I didn't mean to. Upset. I blinked and missed that. I can't do it again because he's dead. I'm sorry. Dude was just taking. Yeah, dude was just taking a nap and waking up. Why, why you do this, bro? What has he ever done to you? Well, I guess we get a good weapon for tomorrow, huh? Chad? Oh my God, like this, this is promising to be a very good video for an endgame build. People have been like asking me for an endgame build now for a while. Wait, so what we're doing right now is we're going to summon the death poker, dude. It's Brado, good to see you there. Hope you're doing well. Okay, let, let's go through the rotation again. And again, this is not the... This is not the maximum rotation you can do. Okay. Um, because the, the jellyfish shield is actually adding even more. I'm not sure how to use the jellyfish shield. So I, I would like, we'll be, we'll be doing this. So again, again, let's, let's walk through this. You swap your main weapon over to the, uh, to the katana, right? Then we're using our spell. We're using the katana. We drink our potion. And we drink our physique to multiply all our damage. And then we pull out the spear again. Right up to the monster. Dual wielded. Okay. Seriously, like, I'm, I'm just... <sighs> Not cool, bird. Not cool, bird. We're trying to show something here. Not to get flamed by you. Okay, let's do it again. Death Poker is another ridiculous strong weapon. Yeah, but Death Poker is, in comparison, boring. I mean, I, I made a Death Poker build uh, with magic attached. So if you play Death Poker, you're playing a mage, right? And it, it is really, it's, it's intriguing what you can do with that. Okay, let's, let's do this again. And set everything up one more time until nightfall. Hey, the bird. Well, this bird just did like his death flame and I just walked into it. So I guess I should just go behind it this time. Right? Can I use the vow already on the back of the horse? No, I can't. So, vow. Strength. Physique. Mana. Swap over. Get on the horse. Right behind it.
Uh... Sadly, it steals 10% for me because of the Ritual Sword Talisman. So I'm still not sure about this one over... Yeah, I, I would like to... Re well, so we could do extend spell effect duration. We could... Hmm, I want another one. I want one that isn't that. I mean, we could raise maximum FP. So we just have more FP, I guess. Uh, we could we could raise our arcane too. I'm just I'm just like trying to debate which is like the best thing to take. Fire Scorpion Charm gets me more damage. Uh is commander centered uh, better buff than Golden Vow. Samo Samo. Peppy. I mean, Vow is just easy to put on there. I haven't actually dealt with Commander Standard yet. Could be. Oh, yeah, Dragonic. So you can do it on a dagger. I just put it on that. So. So Commander's Neil Spear. Wait a second. Do I have the spear right now? So what you're saying is... Niles, 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 Niles. Uh, not, not the veteran's prophecies. You mean the commander standard, right? So what are you, what are you saying is, what, chat? What are you saying is, we do this, and we swap weapon to the standard. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, again. We do this, and we do the standard. Drink, flames ground me strength, and then I am ready to. And I can't actually test how much damage I'm dealing because there is uh, too much. Oh, they they don't they don't stack. Okay, so so that that's a wait. No, how much does Commander Standard do? We can go. Commander's Standard is. Rallying standard, and it does uh, plus 20%. Plus 20%. Okay. Well, the thing about Golden Vow is that for some reason, Golden Vow, like, works very good with um, this together, right? Stacks multiplicative with Golden Vow, whatever multiplicative, right? And Golden Vow, if I'm not mistaken, lasts for 80 seconds, right? So the, the thought is that Golden Vow would be rather appreciated. Also, Golden Vow is damage negation by 10%, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Whereas standard does only do the 20%. Oh, it actually does 20% damage negation too. Wow, that's actually kind of nice. I mean, like, I think the timing is the only thing right now, correct? What I'm asking, so does, does the old Lord's talisman at, like extend everything? So if I use the old Lord's talisman, then, then like it would extend all the, all the durations, correct? Let me find something to herd, Wayne. Mm. <laughs> Let me quickly find something to herd, Chan. Shouldn't blood magic be very sufficient against that stupid ice dragon? We, we all know how annoying the ice dragon is, right? Can we try to nuke him, Chan? When it says that it multiplicatively stacks with Golden Vow, but does it multiplicatively stack with Rallying Standard too? I thought you were going for the other bird. Now nah, there's something else I can bully here. The fun part about this build is, and this is why I like doing these kind of builds, it works like everyone can do this, right? 
I mean, this is not this is not something only I can do. This is not something like you need to be very skilled for, right? Okay, uh, of my horse. Times grant me strength. Golden bow. Oops, I didn't want to actually do golden bow. I wanted to do rallying standard. Okay, I don't have the mana. Because I'm pressing wrong buttons. I'm so dead. I'm not dead. I bullied him. Ah, 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 ah. That's, that was the easiest 70,000 I have ever gotten, huh? Okay, right now, let's, let's just not do the standard because it just raises my equipment loan. Let's, let's kill the dragon here. The, the good thing with Golden Vow is that, as you, as we said, it lasts 80 seconds. So I can I can already apply Golden Vow right now, right? I can apply Flames Ground Me Strength. So both are applied now. Stupid Frost Dragon, could you please come? Thank you very much. Okay, I'm cool, bro. I was just about to... I was just about to do you dirty. I guess the goal, the good thing is now that my um, ow, uh, that that like the golden vow really holds that long, but the flames grab me strength already ran out a while ago, right? A while ago. So you want to probably use the flames grab me strength as the very last ever of all the buff chain, right? Are you the one that used to play Ocean Man? We still play Ocean Man. I have to gift away some subscriptions so you can hear it. We could summon our Mimic tier to bully him even harder. There you go, Chad. You make me do it. You make me do it. You make me bully him even harder. Oh no, wrong weapon. No, no, wrong weapon. Mission abort. Mimic tier failure. Terminal mim mimic tier failure. Did you just take flight straight away? Really? Stupid annoying dragon. He's just, he's just bullying me at this point. I'm, I'm being bullied by the stupid dragon. He's probably one of the more hated opponents in the game, right, Chan?
I mean, that no no comparison to the poison dragon. The poison dragon just get destroyed. That's still this time summon our mimic tier correctly. Okay, this time we want the tier to have the the spear because he actually uses that. See, like this is the level of bullying that we missed the last time. You 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 don't know this, ladies and gentlemen, but the tier does use your weapon art. So if if you choose to give him Mog's spear, what happens is that he does exactly what you do. Which actually makes him a cyber bully. By the way, did we just pull 100k runes down the drain? We did. Um, see, this is what I wanted to see. Stupid bird. This is what I wanted to see, Chad. He really hates death, but we hate him more. So we just we just threw 100k runes down the drain just to pick up another 100k. Okay, that that's that's a good amount of bullying. I mean, we could we could try to go to Melania now, I'd say, and kill her. I just don't I just don't know how we could make this even stronger right now. I, I feel like we're we're kind of like at the at a level of strength that I just don't notice, like how how it was, it is improvable. You know. Hmm. What seal are we using? Oh, we're just using a standard seal. So just the finger seal. Uh, you need the white mask, the Lord Blood's Exultation. We have the Old Lord's Talisman to just extend the duration, but I guess that could be anything. I mean, we could, worst case scenario, just take Dragon Crest Talisman, right? Just to have like more physical negation. So I guess make myself tankier. Because we're using the Fire Scorpion Talisman for 12% more damage. Uh, then like, you know, these, these just raise our attack power. The Warrior Shard works greatly. Ah, yeah, we wanted to do the shield. Wait, we wanted to do the shield. What, what, what was the shield called again? It's the jelly shield? Jellyfish shield. Because with the jellyfish shield, you you can... um, Yeah, you can buff yourself with Contagious Fury. And Contagious Fury does do damage 20 seconds plus 2. So where is the jelly shield? It's a great shield, a broken wagon next to the corpse surrounded by four jellyfish. Really? That's where it is? What's up, my dudes? Name's Ponyhoff. I made you watch your friend die. A jellyfish shield. Oh, Godness, that makes everything even longer to set up. <laughs> makes everything even longer to set up. Uh, let's go for the win. An arsenal charm for the lords. Remove this for. I'm so heavy, Chad. I'm so heavy right now. 
Everything is so heavy. The shield is making me so heavy. The thing is, you would you could use the like if I if I understood the buff route correctly. Flock canvas talisman. Uh, it's only 8% more. What I don't understand is... <clears throat> if you do use this, raise potency of an incantation by 8%. It's not plus 8%. So the question would be, right, if you're using the Golden Vow Ash of War... If the Golden Vow Ash of War does... Uh, no, not Golden Vow Ash of War. If we're using um, Flames Grant Me Strength, which gives you 20% more fire damage, like, it would be 8% of the 20%. So that's not actually worth it than 12% more fire damage, right? Because if you raise the potency of an incantation um, by 8%, for buffing incantations, that's kind of bad. So the way how you would use the Jelly Shield Talisman... Wayne. See, I would use this to give me Righteous Fury. Then I would use this to buff me. And then I would use that to buff me too. And now I'm fully buffed out. If I'm not mistaken. Let's actually test this here. I'm not sure if the Righteous Fury buff overrides the... So you have this, right? You can, you can do... You can buff yourself. Uh, but it goes away as soon as you actually you put the shield away. Okay, so Righteous Fury only works when you... When you have it equipped. Interesting. Good. So so that one that one is useless for this build. This build we're we're still we're still down to flame scrummy strength. Golden vow. Gring. I mean this is where you could technically use the MP flask, right? So we are we're not like beholden to waste our, our flask straight away. Yeah, I think this is pinnacle. I just, I just don't see how I could do it better. I'm, I'm trying to think about it, like, what, what else is possible? I mean, we could do a jump attack talisman, but the jump attack talisman wouldn't work for this, right? Because, because we're, like, we're just using the weapon art. So the warrior shard, like, like, the shard of Alexander, the one I have is 10%, and the warrior shard is 15%. So that would definitely be better, right? I'm, I'm essentially losing out on, on some percentages there, essentially. Mm. Is there another dragon I can kill? I just I just really like murdering dragons, Chan. I'm just I'm just a meanie that enjoys killing dragons. Well, what would be funny is just trying to get this build early. Can you can you not kill Moog by glitching him off a wall? Wait, there there is a glitch way of killing Moog. But that that would be stupid. It'd be very stupid to recommend. The problem is not not like the glitch way of killing him. The problem is like the stats you need to wield the weapon. Because in order to wield the weapon, you need like like 24, 24 um, strength, arcane dex. So, so it's like rather expensive to put together. Not impossible though. In case you didn't know, but this is possible, Chan. Mm. 
now we have ridden all the way down here with the main with the main goal of just bullying this dude okay uh wait flames grant me strength golden oh flames grant me strength golden vow mana Swap, swibbity swap, dibbity dob. Bring the potion. Get up to him. <laughs> I wonder if you could mix Endure into the mix. So there is an Asha War called Endure. Um, but I'm not sure if it goes away when you put the weapon. So uh, what Endure does is grants, skill, uh, grants the skill Endure, provides the heavy affinity, which increases strength scaling, decreases all other scaling types, can be used with the affinity upgrade. So, so it makes you unable to be um, staggered. If I'm, it provides 45% damage negation to all damage types and seemingly infinite poise. But it only lasts like for, for a very low amount of time. Does the weapon armor give you hyper armor? No. You can get staggered. That's why you're just walking behind your opponent. Because, like, the, the range... The, the weapon art has a range. So... You don't have to right away stand in someone. And you can stand behind things as well. So, right now, like, he's there. And he gets hit by the art. So, it's, it's, it's a rather decent range. I mean, look at the range. Like, everyone here gets hit, right? He's there. So, the, the interesting part is... I can walk behind... I can walk behind the wall. I don't have a wall here, but, like, it essentially hits through walls and pillars and everything. So it, it has like nothing can nothing can stop it. Oops. Nothing can stop it. Nothing nothing stops the range of this um of this ability. Which is which is plenty plenty interesting. Because think about the many boss fights where you have environment helping you. For example, if you're fighting... Oh. For example, if you're fighting... How's he called again? Um... Uh, what's it called again? The guy with the rune of death. The wolf dude with the rune of death. We could essentially bully him. Oh, that reminds me. We can actually bully him. Malekith. Yes. Thank you very much, Malekith. Uh, like. Malekith is bullyable. I already killed this dragon, by the way. Oh, I have 200,000 runes. We should probably use them. Almost 60 arcane scaling, ladies and gentlemen. Arcane main. I just want to kill the beast clergyman up here. Mainly because I can, not because I should. We could also try, like, I'm not sure. Can he bleed? So he's, he's like bleed immune, right? Oh, wow. I'm surprised at how much damage that deals to him. So it works against 
bleed immune because we're actually not yeah we're not doing bleed this is a bit it's, it's like it's a bit stupid because the uh we, we tested this these these talismans the the lord exultation right they should only work on blood loss correct the thing is like the 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 ability of the spear is blood loss but it's actually not right but it is so for some reason and like don't ask me why but it actually does work right Oh, great, sir. We're just busy nuking you with our cool ability. Did you just jump away again? There's a reason I hate you. Also, what is that damage he's dealing, Chan? There's a reason we hate you. So we're we're just trying to like cool blood damage you here right now. We we don't we don't actually want to fight. Just saying. Okay, listen. Not okay. <laughs> That's my boy, Chad. That's my boy. <laughs> Did you see him walk up to the staggered opponent and instead of like. Uh instead of instead of doing an attack instead of doing an r1 which your which your um mimic tier can do right he just he just went like ah the heal we tried the death poker weapon the death poker weapon is super super interesting because it has intelligence scaling like there's no tomorrow you know I mean, Zemecki, when I meant, meant fire damage, it's like minion fire damage. So, sorry. We should have probably been more precise. Game is this. This is the well-known game of Elden Ring. Where we choose to create a build to bully bosses. To then only get bullied by bosses that are very annoying to kill. Because we just don't want to, you know, legitimately fight thingies. We just want to do this. I'm cool, bruv. Dude, dude has like always done way too much damage for my liking and I'm, I'm getting ouched. I like the death magic stuff. Which death magic stuff? Oh, the do you mean the death magic stuff from the crone from, from the winter? From the winter land? And the only reason I'm here right now is because I want to bully the beast clergy man. You know, the Malekith 1.0. But I still haven't figured out if he's actually is Malekith or if he's just one of the same as Malekith is, but like, I, I don't know. I don't actually know who he is. Like the guy in the church, I've missed, I missed the lore lessons about that one. I, I literally don't know who he actually is. See, but like this, this one shows one thing really nicely that no matter how, how OP you made a build, Ryan, there's always enemies which are kind of like uniquely suited to to like just resist what you're doing, right? Yeah, so I always assumed that the that the beast man inside there is actually Malekith, but it's somehow different timeline. I, I don't know.
But how how is he Melikith and then how is he Melikith again? Ah, bullying. Ow. Did I say bullying? I meant getting bullied. I hate you with all my heart. Oh, Ferrum Azul exists outside of time. That makes sense. <sighs> but that still makes... Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. Yeah, Ferrum Azula is like a different dimension. It's it's like it's like in a in a time bubble essentially. Uh, the the um, uh, how, how's it called again? The the dragons, uh, the scales on Elder Dragons essentially stop time for Elder Dragons more or less. That's why Elder Dragons are immortal. Yeah, it seems like that that is what it is, chat. That the scales on the Elder Dragon bodies. Uh, make them essentially immortal. That's also why Grail can't die from anything because more or less immortal. Uh, they they reverse the effect of time actually. It's like the Benjamin Button thingy, just different. Ow. Double ow. I'm just I'm just here to to rain blood on you without without even trying. Jesus. The moment you haven't even done a single hit on the boss. And, you, and he he hasn't even tried to hit you a single time, right? And you're just collateral damage. By the way, this this is what we meant with like it, it hits like through everything, right? Because because no matter where that dude stood on the rune, um, we we still did the damage to him. It's like the fun part about this. Stupid thingy. So that is Malekith, and Malekith on top is Malekith as well, right? But what I'm always asking myself is why, why if this is Malekith too, right? Why doesn't he, why doesn't he like, uh... Why doesn't he transform in his second mode? Down here. Does he down here not have the Rune of Death? And the Rune of Death only, like, he only has the Rune of Death outside of this? No? See if you're now want to go on, on on the side of this, and I would still do that, right? Look, look, Chad. So I can I can still do damage to him, even though I'm on the other side of the pillar. Isn't, isn't that interesting? He also, yeah, I mean, he just he just hits through the pillar with it. But, but generally, like, the, the weapon art can just be, like, spammed from back here, right? And, that's just, and then he just doesn't give a... <laughs> he just doesn't give a damn. Ah! Stuck! And he just doesn't give a damn and, and just hits through the pillar, right? Not in every boss fight, pillars can get like, destroyed. The original Malekith fight actually has pillars you can abuse, right? So the original Malekith fight on Tom, where you where you bully him, 
that one has things that that where you where you can like here i mean we haven't done the fight yet because i don't want to just destroy leandel yet since if i would destroy leandel right now i can't i can't yolo around here anymore wait wait a second did we kill him There's a thing I do when I when I get builds that are able to bully certain enemies and I go to certain enemies and bully them <laughs> because I'm a psychopath. I do believe we need more endurance though or we have to move that away because I, I really want to wear a normal armor. Right? It, it makes a difference if you can actually wear an armor in, in terms of like durability that you're not so easily dying. I, I prefer if I can actually put something on. With the red swings? Oh, definitely. Oh, we killed him. Sad face. Wait, finally an option. Uh, great waterfall basin. Aqueduct facing cliffs. Have you ever killed these, Chad? There's one thing I've never discovered in, in like my 20 plus playthroughs because I, I hate the kind of opponent and I literally cannot be asked to care. I shouldn't be so greedy. And that's gravity. Yeah, you heard right, Chad. That's gravity. So what I what I've never done is I've never discovered this area because of these gentlemen, right? I have I have an absolute hatred for for this particular brand of opponent. Come, come, you little shit. Okay. Bro, not cool. Can't be just hitting me out of my, my, my thingy. I was just about to go all out on you. Yeah. Super Crucible Knights. And I've I've literally never discovered this area because I just could wouldn't couldn't be asked to to fight these. I don't I don't even know what is here. I'm the twin gargoyles. We obviously kill and everything, right? But I've never. I've never like go, gone into these parlors left and right to kind of see what, what what's there, you know. Okay, you're not allowed to deal like one gazillion damage. Nah. Chat, chat, chat. I know, I know something. Look at me. <laughs> oh, he drops a somber smithing stone. Six. Always or sometimes? Oh, the, the boss here is beaten already, so so that's not a question. Wait, what what do you have? Order healing. Huh. Okay, first time I've discovered this, ladies and gentlemen. So there is a heal there, and there's a somber smithing stone six. And well, we, we got the horn shield. That's really not worth it at all. I thought I thought there's like some some grand Peppa Hen super secret hidden here. Maybe there's more. No, there ain't more. Hmm. Oh, 
I'm a bit disappointed. Ah! Ah! Stop trying to counter cyber bully me when I'm busy cyber bullying everyone. Is that the waterfall? Oh, I know, I know, I know, but there's nothing there. You got in the coffin? Yes, I've gotten the coffin. Uh, in the Lake of Rod, there's a Somber Nine. Honestly, I've, I've never looked for the Somber Nine in the Lake of Rod because you get it like this early here, right? I mean, this is where the Somber Nine is in the first five minutes of the game. And that, that's where like the Lake of Rod, Somber, never, never like really mattered. I mean, there, there is a lot of Sombers hidden throughout the map. It's actually like you, you're, you're always going to be surprised at every corner because you're suddenly like, why? Why is there a somber here, right? Why would you why would you have a somber smithing stone? It reminds me, where where do I get a dagger, Chan? Can I just buy it from the old crones? Do they sell a dagger? No, I mean like an absolute standard dagger, like a normal, normal standard shitting dagger. I just need a, I need, just need the absolute no brainer, got no ash of war on it, shitty, shitty shebang bang. Here, dagger. Because, like, so this one, this one's weight is currently, where does it say the weight of the item? Weight is 5.5 and dagger weight is 1.5. That, that saves us a huge amount of equipment load that I can actually then equip like a uh, heavier armor, for example, right? If you want to use Golden Vow, right, you got to have Golden Vow there. Oh, no. And now Ash of War duplication. Uh, what, what do I need for that? To get duplicated Ash of War? Uh, lost Ash of War. Uh, where do I get a Lost Ash of War? Jeez, I haven't done it in a while. <laughs> Mm. Oh, he sells them. Perfect. Perfect. I like that Ash of Wars can be duplicated and it's not that complicated, right? Or just... Have a safe trip. Remove it from the katana. Can I just remove it from the katana? You can just, like... I've never dabbled with Ashes of War that much. I usually always went for a somber smithing stone weapon. And that's in, right? Oh, snap. See now now that we have the dagger, we can we can quick swap better. Um, is there a, there's a spell to swarm of flies. Where do you get that from? Found on a corpse along the east wall in a shallow grave of the Mogman Palace Blood Marsh. Oh, there. Because the thought is that Swarm of Flies is something you can cast.
God, I love, I love killing these. I love killing these with this weapon because it's just so free. Everything. At the cave. Storm of flies. Storm of flies now. Would be an interesting spell because releases a swarm of blood flies, okay? And the thought is that in order to use the Like, do, do you notice how this one is, like, working? So, you could start with this, and then go two-handed, and then do that. Right? So, so you can, you can use this as an opener, because if you would, if you, like, how far does this travel? Because if you use this as an opener, the, the blood damage it does amplifies the blood damage of my spear attack because again my attack power is higher when blood damage happens in my vicinity you know are you over d4 tim no i'll play the gauntlet again as soon as like the second gauntlet is out and then i'm not gonna play it until we like we get season four news and i'm not over d4 there's just like nothing to do sir you know Good. If we want to use Storm of Flies, though, right? We want to use it for maximum damage. That means I need the Arcane Scaling Seal still, correct? I would say, I mean, if we're, if we're already going, then we'll want to have the Dragon Communion Seal. Uh, I need one, two. Dragon Communion Seal is in the Strainer Graveyard. But where? You're rocking that you took off Swarm of Flies though. What, what else are you taking instead of Swarm of Flies? Ah. That place, yep, that place. <laughs> Swarm of flies! Swarm of flies! What you gonna do? When the first swarmer flies come for you, not take any damage, I guess. I don't remember anything about this. Didn't the thing follow up now? Yeah. Didn't this thing start to follow up once you went past like a certain point? Am I just getting immensely lucky right now? It hasn't followed up yet? Yep. 
Yeah, is it bugged? There it is. Finally, I think I think I just got I just got really really lucky, Chad. Wait, but I didn't want to go here. I wanted to find the... Ow. Keep your spirit. Yeah, it's up, isn't isn't it up? So I went essentially all the way down here, but I didn't have to go all the way down there because the dragon's communion seal is It's like here, can be found at the French Fry right under the beginning of the game. To get there, use two stone on the double cube next to the standard and progress down the tunnel with the mechanized stairs until the path splits and you can go either up or down. But where, which, which did I miss? Where, where, where did I miss it? No, we we don't want that seal. I w I want the Dragon Communion seal for for a reason. This is not me wanting things for wanty wanty. We have reasons. A left room, right room. And yeah, well, what am I missing right now? The ramp before you went down to the boss, there's also a ramp up. Really? Ah, there. Ah! Ah! Bad, 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 bad. Any questionable decisions made? Oh. Oh, why am I surviving this? Is this not one shot you anymore? Die. Okay, Dragon Communion Seal. That one upgrades with Somber Smithing Stones, correct? And it has Arcane Scaling too. One, four, six, seven, eight, and Dragon. 
me double check before I go by. And not upgraded. And did not be upgraded. Oh, we can. Remember some of these. Ones. There we go. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so we need one, two. What was it? We need one, two, three, five, nine. Why do I have all of these? Well, because I made a video about it, Chad. I made a video about it. Very useful, correct? If you want to play any weapon, if you want to do anything, there you go. This is what you need to prepare. Okay, how much damage does my seal now do? Ancient dragon smithing stones are limited. Yeah, I, I know where I think there's like in total six or so a run through. Don't really do much damage. Disappointed. But I could could expect a bit more out of that. I could, I could spend all day long here just murdering them, Chan. Okay, well, you know what? The weapon art itself is is the strength point of this build. That's in. I mean, you could you could probably play a different uh, mimic tier that is a bit more tanky, right? Potentially. But why would you? Seems like the most reasonable approach here right now. I mean, currently I could go kill, like, like I, I don't want to advance the game further. We could actually go to Millennium and just see how it feels against Millennium. Would that be something, ladies and gentlemen? Gone to her yen. A most hated fight. Ushby, thank you for the 76 centuries of suburb dubbers. Ushby, I hope you're feeling very well. Good morning, good day, good greetings. Chad, if you did bring your Prime Gaming subscription, your YouTube membership, your whatever, uh, feel free to spend it. Really? 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 I hate you so much. Words cannot express my hatred for the bow ladies. Which brings me to an interesting question. Uh, can I can I just murder bow lady through the the wall? Should be able to, right? Going to the Evergill. Oh, we know Bow Lady is behind this, right? You stupid shit. Old lady destroyed, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that brings us to the next question. Could we... Could we... Potentially kill the invisible assassins? I mean... 
it should work, right? There's no reason to fight the invisible assassins, correct? But could we? Technically. Also, ever thought that Elden Ring is the game that needs a jump and run portion, right? Because we all we all know, like Elden Ring is uniquely made to, like you know, with with the with the very precise movement in Elden Ring, like a jump and run portion is exactly what you want. Especially while these weird archers are shooting at you. With their heat seeking arrows. Totally, totally not a constant nuisance. Mm -hmm. ah. Let's go to Melania and just see how... I mean, usually I go to Melania when I'm at my strongest. So when the Elden Beast is dead, when Radagon is dead, when, when everyone is essentially dead, right? Then I go to Melania. Not before. Why did I go? Can you actually make that jump? I'm glad they fixed the messages by the ladder. I mean, you could, you could just play offline, right? You can use a sentry torch in the offense. I mean, sure, you could use a sentry torch in the offense. Not the point. You know, the question wasn't how how can we see the assassins in general. The question was, could the weapon make our life easier to to just bully things, you know, without without them even knowing they're being bullied? Right? It doesn't start NG plus after the Elden Beast fight. Oh, no, 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 no. So you kill the Elden Beast and then you get prompted to... Uh, go to, like, do whatever you want with Marika's body, you know, they leave you alone, they're like, you know, you can touch it, you can, you can eat it, you can, you can just not interact with it, whatever you feel like. Um, and you can essentially choose to teleport away and be like, nah, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling this right now, you know, like, we're not, we're not, we're not cool yet. So no, it does not straight away start the fight versus the Elden. Uh, like it, it doesn't straight up start NG plus. You you have the complete power power of choice given to you. Okay. Let's see how our video is doing from today, guys. If it's a complete disaster or not. First things first. Well, it's not a complete disaster, but it's, it's not looking good, Chad. All my Elden Ring guides always start like as a disaster, and then they, they potentially pick up over time. Which is good to see, but it's still sad that they have to start as a disaster, right? Level up. Yeah, I'm currently, like, trying to get that 60 Arcane for the optimal scaling. I killed you. Like, I'll kill all your friends.
Haha, <laughs> you shall not push me down. You should also not push me down. And lastly, you should not push me down. Because the most annoying thing, getting pushed down by stupid ends, right? Completely innocently getting pushed down by ends. Can you actually go up to kill this guy? I, I've, I've literally never tried because I've never cared enough. Um, oh God, now I care. Now I care. Can I go up to kill him somehow? Ah, uh, there's, there's no ladder. I'm, I've never cared. Now I care. You should go all arcane or arcane plus strength. Uh, the weapon does scale more with arcane than with strength. It says both is a C scaling, but this is like the thing about Elden Ring that might be a little bit shitty. Because it says it's a C scaling, but a C scaling doesn't equal a C scaling. So the weapon really heavily scales with um like 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 strength and and um arcane. But the arcane scaling is the higher of the two. So you essentially are having like, you know, you, you're having the information that it does something, but you're you're not essentially having the full scope of the information, right? There's some piece of the information missing, which I personally find a little bit eh. Because if I if I if I'm looking for information, I'm looking for everything, right? Every piece. Zarya gave me trauma. Oh, I can go right side down and then I could go up to that dude. So this area, I highly recommend to ignore as much as possible. Like when I, when I go through this, it's always like, just, just get, get, get past the first part, go down, get yourself the side of grace and then ignore, then ignore everything here. Right. I mean, you, you could, you could fight your way through the hordes of monsters, right? You could try to kill everything and what's so on. But nah. No gosh darn shit given. I mean, I remember my first time here where I'm actually like, you're fighting everything, right? You're like, you're, you're, you're trying to go through things until, so I, I tried the first time too, to fight everything, right? Until one thing happened. And that is uh, one of the, the, these are the beast men, right? Which are technically bosses. And then I was still like, until I saw this guy. Because this guy technically, as we all know, is a boss, right? And I was like, sure, man, I could, I could find my way through many things, but when I, when I'm fighting technical bosses, I get kind of annoying. And then, then you have like this guy, right? Who's technically a boss or used to be a boss. And then uh, and on top of that, like there's another two bosses just waiting for you. Please show status of char. We're currently at 40 vig, 20 n, 24 strength, 15 dex, 15 faith and 59 arc in... killed everything you're a monster proto i literally can't be asked to bother oh. i literally can't be asked to bother with the crystal guys the crystal guys have been at any turn annoying right Hey chat, ever been blasted down here because he, he has this hammer happening and the dude behind has the other thing happening. Now you could fight these dudes and activate the elevator. But I kind of feel like this is this is one of the easy, easiest fights in the game. Because technically when you arrive here, you're so heavily over overdone that... Oh, I had the wrong spell. had to say it right so technically when you fight her right you're you're so you're so overdone that you're like not dying anymore right technically technically 
And then when you when you are a pompous uh, booty hole, then you're essentially forced to do the whole run again. Because you were too lazy to skip it the first time around. Should you prove you're wrong there, dude? Absolutely. I was like, listen, listen to that ass talking. Range. Cause yes, chat range. I got, I got, I got the range for days. Oh, why did I drink that? That made no sense. So here, here to the left is the lift. For the people that didn't know this. Just in case. Uh, Mimi tier, what are you doing? I'm gonna just knee heal. Knee heal. Knee heal. Knee heal. Uh, the, 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 the third one is so, so like the first two ones are like okay, right? But the third one is so uncalled for, right? It's like, it's okay, this is balance, and then the third one is like, Ugh! Just become an absolute super mini. So technically, that's that's enough. You you don't need more. Uh, you could like could like boost your endurance now. You could, could boost your vigor, whatever you feel like. Could, could even boost your mind, so you you don't like rely on drinking potions like like your potion addict anonymous. But yeah, I guess this weapon should also be very good to clear out this area, right? I mean, when, when you're when you're generally when you're clearing out areas, right? You you don't want to fight, right? You want to bully, like for example, these knights that are like very annoying to kill, right? The the rotted knights. You don't want to fight them ever. So they're they're goddamn stupid to fight against. I mean, like they they have power levels that are just like boss levels, nuisance. I just feel like when you when you have these against you, like you just want to done. And th this is how we can farm this area now, correct? Like, th there's so many opponents and there's so many of these at every corner. But, but if you want to, like, easily go through this now without a single problem. Let's take your trusty, trusty Mook Spear, right? I'm just one hit everything. But even if you have to fight, like, multiple, right? You were just, were just pulling this out. Because this is again one of these areas too where I actually haven't like where I haven't found every single secret. Because every room is like full of full of annoying opponents, right? But, so you're you're literally not not playing the area because the enemies or or at ev every single corner you could be meeting a plethora of um, annoying enemies. The jump attack with this weapon, right? It's quite good. Has a has an unreasonable range as well. So like when I do this. It's kind of further than you would expect it to hit. And generally a weapon has a unreasonable range and a good poise and everything. See? 
And that's what I'm talking about when I mean like like just just really not not caring about the area, right? Just just going through, checking every room, being a meanie. I've never, I've, for example, I've never been here because I never saw a reason to do this. You know, never, 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 ever have I, have I been here. Don't even know what's in this room. I have no keys to check. Very sad. First time I got into this area, I instantly picked a fight with that dude. No, absolute first time I get into this area. What did I do? Oh, green. I used up all my mana. Because I'm a bot. Oh, you use Scarlet Rot? Well, I do this. Nice Scarlet Rot you got there. Dude. It's just it's just so simple, right? Oh, somber ancient dragon smithing stone is here as well. What that's good news. Reasonable good news. Nice gave good runes. Yeah, I mean like usually the, the palace is better. Mogwins. Because the mobs are just you know, all sitting together there. But why is there one of these here? Can I can I kill them with blood? I can. Interesting. Yeah, Neil attacks are good against everything. Yep. We're we're not here to now like like fight our way through things, right? You finished the fight with the blasphemous blade. Yeah, but I, like I've not played this weapon here yet because I always found it a bit unwieldy and slow on the attack. But I have to say I'm I'm well I'm not attacking with it, right? I'm not, I'm literally not. What you could do is, like, instead of just spamming your weapon art, right? You you could just use it to... Mm. Could just use Stan's attack until poise break, right? And when you finally poise break, which happens relatively quick... You could then choose to... Oh wow. I thought I'm jumping too short. So when you when you finally poor spray, you then then choose to use your ability essentially. But before that you wouldn't. Okay, can we bully him? Wait, 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 chat, 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 chat. Listen, 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 listen. Are you ready? Wait, why, why is the first one hitting with the, the other ones aren't? Oh, because I don't have the mana. I'm a bot. 
I, I was like, I was like, why, why is nothing happening? Why are we not doing that? Because I don't have the mana. I wasn't doing anything. Ay, 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 ay. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, that I have been a little bit of a freaking super stupid noob there. Let's do this again for a second. Step one, flame scrummy strength. Step two, dagger. Step three, get the weapon out. Drink my potion. Drink my other potion. Be a bully. I was like, be a bully, and he was like, well, but what if I'm a bully first, right? Isn't there, like, in the Lake of Rot, isn't there another of these, um, thingies you definitely want to kill? I see, like, there, there's the rotting lake here right now, correct? And if you go to that tiny lake there... There's another one of these spawn monsters. The lazy man's way of playing this chat. I remember being so stressed the first time ever going here. I have maximum stress levels, like the super stressing, stressy max stressy balls. Oh yeah, that's where you complete the Millicent quest. You're you correct, Converge. Now I finally have my answer to that. Did anyone ever discover the second area here completely and not just speedrun in? Did anyone find every single secret in this area? And I usually just, just like, I mean, the, the way was like so obvious here, right? It was like over the tree root, over the tree root, over the other tree root. Andrew's gonna hang. Weep. And we get 50,000 runes. How many do we need to upgrade? We need 80,000 to upgrade. That would be one Lord's Rune. One Newman's Rune. Oh, I thought I would have more. I thought I would have more. Favorite area in the game? No, not really. I, I, I like everything. Okay, how's the weapon holding up against Melania? Yes, I'm going to summon my Mimic tier. There's no way I'm even going to remotely ever attempt fighting her without. I have children. If I want to suffer, I, I, you know, I try to make them do things. Okay, what, what is that? 
What is that damage? Holy. I mean, holy, but what is that damage? I mean, let me get fully buffed. I didn't buff myself fully, Chan. I just buffed myself half. Okay. Summon. Okay, fu full buffed. Get my Mimic Tier to get aggro. Okay, you you weren't you weren't coming closer, were you? A bit unlucky. I was like hoping you would come closer, so you know. I was also hoping for you to not run away, so we could un unfold the full power of our shebang here. Oh, that's not cool. Not uncool, to be honest. I mean, actually, if I run up early enough, I could probably just one hit her right in that face. Okay, you can actually stagger through that. Interesting. I mean, not that I would survive doing that, but it, it, like I can still do. Intriguing. I'm just, I'm just like finding cool how much damage we actually do, you know? Uh, try the flies to stagger her. I don't know. I mean, they should do poise damage. You're actually right about that. Interesting. I beat her with incantations, but seeing your damage questions my uh, questions my decisions. I mean, this is essentially when everything is buffed, right? So, so we get the mimic tier with our weapon. Uh, we are going for flame scrummy strength. We are going over to our sword to give us even more buff. Then we go back to the weapon, go two-handed, drink our potion so we actually do fire damage, drink our other potion so we're full, drink our mana potion so we're full full. <laughs> then our Mimic tier is already just killing her single-handedly right now. All right, so so this is the damage our Mimic tier did with, with the weapon, Chan. This was not my damage. This was merely Mimic tier damage now. That's done. That's that is that is what I wanted to see. Dear Mikola. Oh, dearest Mikola. My brother. I'm sorry. I finally met my match. Yes, I'm better than you. Set in. Not taking back, Chan. Okay. You said there are three hours to kill her. Honestly, three hours is pretty damn respectable. Like, like, no, no joke. Like, three hours is pretty, pretty good. Isn't there something that makes incantations and everything cheaper, guys? Isn't there, isn't there a talisman that makes weapon, um... I know there's one that makes spells cheaper, but is there one that makes weapon abilities cheaper?
Uh, we, I think, I think we should take the tier. What, 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 what was it called? What was it called again? The, the, the mana tier that gives me infinite casting. Was it shrouding crack tier? No. What's the, what's the mana tier called? Was it cerulean hidden tier? Uh, mix. Uh, FP is not consumed. Yes. Uh, Mount Gelmir drops from the tree spirit. Uh, but how did I get to that tree spirit again? Wait, 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 wait. Tree spirit, but uh, I go into... I use Teach and Rivers of Blood. Teach and Rivers of Blood is pretty good. Good combo on frame. I mean, pr probably the easiest you'll have. No, actually, you know, this was the easiest I've ever had it on her. I've definitely been trying many broken builds, including like magic versus her, right? Magic is also very efficient. But I have to say from all the builds I've done, this was right now the easiest I've ever had, had it to fight her. Wait, can I not open the door to Volcano Manor from the inside? Are you, are you telling me? The Carrion Filigree Crest reduces cost of skills, but by how much? When you said EG sells me something, but he doesn't, I got robbed? The Carrion Filigree Crest. By 25%. After killing the Bloodhound Knight, Dar, Re Dar Reveal for Blade, the player can tell where that Blade sent them. Well, in order to do this, we need to... We need to do the... I mean, is it is it already available when I kill... When I kill the Blood Knight? Or is it only available when I... Yeah, is it only available when I kill him, or do I really have to advance the Ronnie quest line? Because if it's only the Blood Knight, that's easier to do. I mean, most people will have advanced the Ronnie quest line, though, but I want to test this. Like, again, there, there's still, like, so, so much you can figure out about this game, right? I just recently found out, chat, did you know? Did you know that you can get Blade to help you kill the Blood Knight? Chat. So, so you can you can find Blade next to a ruin, summon him, and then you can ask him like like there there's a quest from him to kill the Blood Knight, and and he comes into the Evergale to help you. I was I was bamboozled. I I was like, what? I, my life is a lie. Do we have to do this? No. Do I want to do it? Yes. Half. No, 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 no. Definitely not half. Want. Yes, yes. It doesn't have it. I got robbed. Chad promised me goodies, but there are no goodies here. Oh, do I need to talk with him? Well, I can talk to him too. I mean, probably could just start the Ronnie quest line and instantly have it, but just let's try. Talk. About advice? No. Okay. Didn't help. So we're we're just we're just starting the Ronnie quest line then. Trying to drink here and not get blasted. Thank you. 
first time I came here, I was like, this is impossible. I will never get into the castle. How are you supposed to avoid this? This is broken. Until I found out that it's indeed not broken and really doesn't matter at all. Oh, there's definitely one thing I want to do now. I want to kill a hand. I never kill these hands. Wait, I'm going to summon my... I'm going to let him go crazy. Go, little... Go, little man. You're free. Yes. And crime. Finally. No, I was about to murder you. And then I rolled into you. These hands are probably in the whole game the most off-putting thing in existence, right? I mean, first and foremost, stupid hands in the ground, but also the amount of fingers and everything and them just looking like spiders. By the way, there's something in the lore about the amount of fingers and magical power or whatever it was, right? There's definitely something in the lore about magical fingers. And why more is cooler or something like that. They look like AI generated hands. Well, was Elden Ring ahead of its time, Chad? Is that it? Has Elden Ring always been ahead of its time? Not only in game development in general, also when it comes down to the amount of fingers on hands. Find out, find out in the next episode. Why is Pony killing these innocent poor ghosts? My problem about taking the carrion talisman, Chad, you would essentially take the carrion talisman to... put off the old lord's talisman or the fire scorpion charm to do... Actually, I would probably put the fire scorpion charm away. Because, so, the fire scorpion charm gives us 12% more damage, right, Chad? But the problem is that the 12% more damage comes with also 10% more damage taken. And every now and then you actually do feel that, right? So I guess screw the Fire Scorpion Charm and just use the other two. And that should be enough. Super Wolf, I hate you. I will graciously let you live. I know. I'm amazing. Also, look, chat. There's a knight cosplaying as a mage. This one I haven't understood fully. Why? Why there is like essentially a knight cosplaying uh, like like uh, a knight, um, a giant, you know, suddenly a, a mage giant. Why? Why these exist? I, I don't I don't know why these exist essentially. Kind of like you you want to you want to understand lore wise where where is suddenly a giant mage coming from? Why why do you exist? Uah! Coolest ability of the spear, Chan. You can just charge into people. There's reasons, nah, nah, nah. There, there's good reasons for most things in Elden Ring. I say most things because definitely not for everything. I mean, sometimes you're just like, why? <laughs> my, bot, my bot is just spamming. <laughs> Did you see him spam, guys? He, he finishes the combo. That That's the crazy part about him. He doesn't, he doesn't merely cast once. When he starts casting and you're not interrupting him, then he does the full triple stack. He goes through. He goes like... Oh! Question, chat. Can you actually kill the glinstone dragon here? Oh, 
Also, under the I have literally never tried department because... No, he runs away, right? Because he's the Glenstone Dragon of later. Mm, makes sense. Ah, he's, he's the same Glenstone Dragon. Okay, yeah, he's the same Glenstone Dragon then. I've never opened you. Mm. <laughs> I'll start the Ronnie quest and then run down to EG and then pester him and be like, sell it to me, sell it to me, sell it to me. Now, 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 now. I remember having that talisman for a different build because I was using a build that was throwing Halo Scythes at people. I remember now. I want that build again. Thou must have, though I have no intrigue in. Mommy. Man who does not want ser to serve Ronnie the witch guys, right? Like the heed not there, but I'm sure the others will be. Like the heed not, I'm sure the others. Okay, let's talk to the three NPCs in Jitawa. Hello, name's Ponyhoff. Came here to steal your Kaveen. Together, a lady honey. Hey, where's blind? How do I miss blind? I, yes, I am. I don't know what since I asked. I am unpaid, should you, if it were up, but who? I am unpaid, should you, if it were up, but who? Together, a lady. Wonderful day, free can. Hope you're doing good. We need to finish the Ronnie quest line. No, I doubt it, Ryan. Oh. He's selling it now. You could just watch Elden Ring all day. I'm I'm fully with you. I mean, this is probably my more fun endgame builds I've made. In terms of not actually fighting. It's actually bad to have these builds though. Guys. It's it's very bad to um do these kind of builds where you don't have to fight because you actually lose your fighting skill. You know? Okay, we have that. And should EG now... Should EG now sell? So we killed Evergale. We talked to Ronnie. Where is war? Ah! Ladies and gentlemen! Uh, so, the thing is, if we now have this thing for 25%, right? One, two, three. And one, two, three. Perfect. Okay, that's, that's worth it, John. Because else I can do one triple combo, right? Without the talisman and full mana. We could do one, two, three. And then we can merely do one, not, not even two. 
So we can do we can do two more in total. Say that's worth it, right? Are you on New Game Plus? No, this is not New Game Plus. We're we're essentially this is my this is my character for the DLC. I have a I have a better character that essentially has everything, but this is more or less my DLC character that I wish to take over into the DLC. Hidden path to the helic tree. Yeah, we have that. We haven't killed the wing thingy in there. We killed this. We killed that. Like helic tree, we farmed everything, and when we just destroyed everything. And there, there's like like a few outlier bosses we can still do. We can still collect some weapons, like the Golden Order Greatsword. That's actually in here. Oh, I think it's. Yeah, somewhere there. The Golden Order Greatsword. Psych, greetings and good to see you there. Uh, why keep the merchants alive? Just unalive them? Because I like the merchants. What's mean? Why are you so mean to the merchants? I, 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 I like all my merchants. They've never done anything to you. I mean, that's like killing the poor finger reader cr crones. You monster. They've never, they've never done anything wrong. Just existing. Okay, I would say this is the pinnacle now, Chan. Definitely, definitely the pinnacle of, of like this build. Oh, we could try to get better looking armor now. I mean, what means better looking armor? Uh, there, there needs to be a... I mean, cur currently we're wearing, uh, Crucible Tree Armor together with Crucible Tree Gloves and the Twin Greaves. We can't actually go for anything heavier. I'm not sure if there's something better. I mean, they give you here, they give you a huge amount of resistance, right? Good poise. This gives you good poise. I mean, technically, these gloves will give you better poise. So slightly, slightly better. Slightly better in the resistance department. More or less. We could go for this armor. The Halic Tree Knight armor has always, Crucible armor has always been nice. What would you recommend for Elden Beast? I mean, I, I recently did the double slash, uh, Ushi Katana, uh, the double slash Nagakiba against it. And that one was just probably the best time I've had in a while. That was good. So we, we kill we kill Millennium. That's beautiful. I mean, I, I don't I don't simply just wish to end the game yet. Uh, in case you wonder why why are we just not ending the game because we don't we don't simply need to. Oh wait, I killed Astel already. Yikes! We're actually close to killing that dragon too. This is brilliant. You like finding armor sets? I mean, there I, ha I have the interesting armor sets. I, I didn't pick up the Carrion armor set on this one here. So that is definitely, wait, just a schoolhouse classroom, church of the cuckoo. Didn't pick up the carrion armor. I like that one, actually. I, I've, I've recently gotten a very big liking to that because of the um, armor into cloak combo. It's quite good. Have you ever underlived the whole graveyard, Chad? Me neither. Me neither. But maybe it's time. It's time. Just unalive that whole goddamn thing. Oh, cat talisman. Chat, you should probably get yourself the cat talisman. Right? Because you don't actually know if there will be things in the DLC where jumping is possible or needed, right? Hmm.
Where is actually the cat talisman down there? I, I like I understood that it's down here, but I never looked for it. Another one of these mysteries that I never uncovered yet. Here, this is the carry night armor. It has way less poison everything, right? back there never actually discovered this area right i only go here for the for the shortcut lost ashes of war okay what do you think of the death poker recently made a video about it really fun weapon can do quite some some Stupid shit with it. Don't worry, chat. Bled that statue to death. No hurt feelings. Long tail cat talisman. I finally own it. I have never owned this talisman before. I've never cared owning this talisman before. I only go there to get myself. Ah, and this is how you get back up. Oh, okay. Well, today we learned, Chad. Today we learned. So we do have the death poker actually with us, but we can't use it because we don't have intelligence right now. But we recently did a mage combo build. I mean, it's, it's actually really crazy, but I have one character who's only one hour old. A bit older right now because I recorded a guide with him. But the character itself is only one hour old. It's him. Uh, it's it's him, Hans. He's called Hans. And Hans is one hour and 28 minutes old and has already... The Death Poker. The Meteorite Staff. Twin Sage Glenstone Crown and the Graven School Talisman, plus the Radagon Icon. So he does already have all these items. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, he does have Summer Smithing Stones three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So, so like, and and that's just uh, that's just out of the house, right? So you can in one hour you can get to this level easily. I think we also have the Carrion Knight Armor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have the Carrion Knight Armor as well. Because why wouldn't we have that? And no, we don't need pants. We're the pencils mage. And yes, you could use the poker and then boom. Or you can use the poker and then boom. Poker's great. So yeah, we, we do have a full build on this already. And it essentially uses like what we're currently using is a combination of gravitational magic. So you use the use the gravity gravity to stagger things. Uh, but as you stagger things, you then follow just simply up with a death poker. So stagger, stagger, death poker, stagger, death poker, stagger, death poker. It's 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 like so stupid. And well, you can like as you can see, I have nothing discovered. I've been even here. So this is like one hour of playtime in. And already have all of this. Right? Some po OP. Kazooie, good to see you there. Wonderful good greeting. Psych again. Thank you for the 61 centuries of support. Well, chat, I think we're going to leave the Elden Ring for today here. And play a little bit of another game on Twitch further on. So thank you, YouTube, for being here with us. We'll turn YouTube off. And we'll be continuing our Twitch stream. So appreciation. That was the guide about our cool spear thingy. 